Hi. I'm here. <laughs> Hi! Welcome to the stream, everyone! Special sponsored stream, thanks to Atlas. Who really wanted me to play this game, which, I mean, is kind of great, considering I really also wanted to play this game. Um, Mass Effect guy, thank you so much for the hundred, I appreciate it! It all works out in the end. Look at these cute alerts, though. <laughs> oh, the alerts are different today. They're all 13 cents and nullsified. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Deadbeat, for the three months. Alex, thank you so much for the four months as well. I appreciate it. Ah, hi. <laughs> I'm so excited to play this game. I keep saying it, but like genuinely, this is probably going to be my game of the year. I'm, I'm just that excited about it. Thank you so much, Joel, for the five gifted. I appreciate it. <laughs> Here, you know what? I don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Give me a second. Um, hold on. I'm going to be an overachiever here for a second. Don't mind me. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. And let's do that. And let's do that. And boom. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Really, Joel, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Ah, I'm so excited to play this game. I kid you not. I have not been this excited to play a game since Persona 5 Royal. Two years ago now? That was two years ago now. I am so excited. Look at these cute alerts. It's so cute. Thank you so much for the 500 in Ordinary Joe. I appreciate it. It's just one of these games. Like, I know this is going to be one of those games that I just love. I'm just going to love every second of it. And I just know it. And this is the same feeling I have with P5R. I just know I'm going to fucking love this game. And I'm just like, I'm so hyped for it. It's a great feeling. I love it. <laughs> Did you know that it's out for the Switchboard right now? That's crazy. <laughs> No, but really, I'm so I'm so excited. I'm like shaking a little bit because I'm really really excited to play this game. Uh, <clears throat> that's the other thing. Like this game, it blows my mind. It's I feel like it's so rare that a game gets popular by word of mouth so much. Um, like because the marketing on this game wasn't there for the initial release, but word of mouth happened and people talked this game up so much that here we are now with a port and actual marketing because they finally they believe in the game you know because of ever because of the fan base of this game like that's crazy to me that's crazy that's such a good thing <laughs> i'm so excited and the music too oh i'm so excited to hear the, the soundtrack i haven't listened to it this is like what's playing right now is the title screen of the game and uh yep i'm already into it so i'm oh, i'm just like geeking out so much right now you have four copies of this game oh <gasps> you know what you should do buy a fifth copy for the nintendo switch since that port just came out <laughs> the music is too quiet i can turn it up slightly i also have to turn it back down eventually broda thank you so much for the hundred Oh. <clears throat> um. Time was a factor. So, like, I didn't play it before because I had so many other games to play. And then whenever they announced the Switch port, like, a few months ago, I already knew that I was going to stream it whenever the Switch port happened. And then Atlas actually decided to sponsor me for it. So that was even more motivation to do it now. But I had already intended to play it whenever the port happened. So, yeah, but the thing is, I had already bought the game for my PS4, so, like, I do own the game on my PlayStation. I did buy it. And you know what? I'm happy about it. I'm happy that I now have two copies, one for my Switch and one for the PS4. I'm super happy about it because, you know what? Atlas deserves my money. <laughs> oh, darn, I have to buy a game a second time. Oh, no. I just, I love, I, I, this is so, this sucks to support a company I love so much. That sucks so much. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm, just, oh, God, I'm so excited. 
I think the thing I'm most, the two things I'm most excited for are the obviously the storyline, but also just I, I'm I'm ecstatic to hear the music. I think more than anything. <sighs> yeah, that's the thing. I love supporting games that deserve or companies that deserve my money, man. Like I don't care. Whenever, um, <laughs> so I had bought Final Fantasy XIV for one of my best friends, and she was she just like kept on asking me why, like why are you so insistent on buying me fourteen? And I was like, because I like supporting Square. Like I don't know, I feel like my whole life is owed to Square because of fourteen. Like I, this game has changed my life so much, and I do not mind buying you the game to support Square. <laughs> like, I, don't, I just don't care. <laughs> I'm like, sure, I'll buy the game like 10 more times. I don't care. <clears throat> oh. Hmm? oh my god. Dom says I should buy it for all my viewers. I'm, I'm good. That's a lot of money. I'm not rich. Just for my best friend. I had to buy it for her. <laughs> oh, I I am certain I'm gonna have a great time with this game. I'm so excited. Ah! <sighs> and um, I know it's gonna be amazing too, cause uh, I've said it before, but I know uh, my brother and I have the exact same taste in video games. So if I know that he loves a game, I know I'm gonna love the game, and vice versa. Um, so the fact that he praises this game so much, which he doesn't do very often for games, I'm like, hmm, okay. All right, I trust my brother, I trust. <clears throat> Your Switch copy is being delivered! Oh, <gasps> yes! I'm, ex I'm so excited. <gasps> dude, 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 dude. I love, I love having my Switch ports, okay? Because uh, I'm going to Florida in a month to visit my grandma and i'm gonna be sitting at an airport for like 12 hours just to get there it'll be an, a full day of traveling but you know what that means i'll be able to play all of my switch games which probably includes 13 sentinels on the plane and in the airport like i'm excited about that i love having my switch whenever i travel <sighs> so much so just having another game to play on my switch is the best <laughs> the way you trust your brother? Well, the thing is, I've been... My brother and I have been gaming pretty much... The, we've been playing the same games for... Like, almost 20 years. Because, like, whatever game he would get for Christmas, I very often would get the same one. Like, sometimes we would get two copies of the same game, or we would just, like, have to share. Oh, darn sharing, but, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's just been a long time, and our track record of games that we have the same taste in is exactly the same. Disco Elysium. I haven't played the game. I can't recommend them a game I haven't played. <clears throat> Force your brother to play Disco Elysium. <laughs> now, granted, uh, I know he's been waiting for me to play 13 Sentinels. He's really excited. Uh, and I got him into Final Fantasy XIV about a month ago, so I'm excited about that. And <laughs> sorry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a bad influence. <laughs> um, Gino, thank you so much for the 100. Uh, I guess you're thank you so much for the 11 months. I have to turn this up slightly. I think it's a bit quiet. Uh, and uh, who will thank you so much for the two month resub? I appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the support. I'm super excited. We have customized alerts for today's stream as well, so feel free to use it, manipulate that, because it's only for today. You only get it for today. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> uh, thank you so much for the hundred, Gino. I appreciate it. Yes, this is my first time playing 13 Sun. <clears throat> yes! Dude, okay, I... <laughs> no, okay, not because I'm sponsored, by the way, but I'm gonna tell you to buy this game, and I haven't even played this game. That's how, that is how much confidence I have that this is going to be an amazing game for me. That is exactly how much confidence I have. I'm gonna tell you to buy it right now. Not even like, yeah, this is a sponsored stream, but I'm not, I don't need to say this shit, okay? I just have that much faith in the game and I, I just want people to buy it and play it because I know it's gonna be great and I have to even play it. So buy it, please. <laughs> I can guarantee you that you won't regret it. <laughs> like, I have not heard one bad thing about this game. And how, I don't know when this originally came out. Like, I feel like it's been over a year, right? But I haven't heard a single bad thing. That's crazy. Can't wait. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. See? Everybody always has, like, such great things to say. I don't understand. How can a game have a perfect track record? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna find out. You know what? I'll find that one thing about this game. It's, uh, I'll find that one thing about this game to complain about, and it's gonna be, like, uh, um, the, this character's shoes looks ugly. Ruins the whole, ruins the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find I'll find that one thing, okay? <laughs> the shoe lover. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> yeah, I do think that with the Switch port that this game is going to finally get the attention that it deserves. I really think so because there's actually marketing behind this port release that there wasn't before. <laughs> When 13 Sentinels first came out, I didn't even hear about it. Like, I didn't even know that the game had come out. There was no marketing. I didn't even know it existed. I, I literally had to hear about it from word of mouth. <laughs> but now they're like, you know what? Let's market the game. And you know what? I'm so happy that they're doing it. Hell yeah. <clears throat> the worst part about this game is that it ends. No! <laughs> Don't say that. Video games are eternal. They don't actually end. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> but yeah, I know. I It's weird because I had never heard of the game, but everyone was like, This game is amazing! And it's the best game of the decade! And I'm like, what the fuck? You can't just say that about a game I've never heard of. What are you smoking? <clears throat> Oh, the ambient noise is over overpowering. Okay, I can turn it down. There we go. I had to adjust the volume a little bit. I'm working on it. Okay, that should be better. <clears throat> it's just the game. We we the uh, it's just it's just the game sitting in the background. This is the title screen music though. Oh no, where did I go? That's not that's okay. I'm getting used to this high. <laughs> <clears throat> But yeah, it's, I love, I also love how the marketing for it, I feel right now is perfect because I still don't know anything about the game. Like Atlas sent me the PR package for 13 Sentinels and it was like kitchen themed and all it had on it was like a robot that I have no idea who this fucking robot is. Like, that's great. Like no spoilers at all. <laughs> like they're doing great with it. This title screen tells me nothing. Like. Every every bit of every bit that I've seen of Thirteen Sentinels has been like so generic that it doesn't tell you anything about the game, which is fantastic. Because I feel like when I watch trailers for games nowadays and I see any kind of marketing and PR, they just spoil so much of the game. And I feel like Thirteen Sentinels is just fucking killing it with with like the presentation of the game. <clears throat> Yeah, all I know is that there's this, like, robot thing. 
and um, I think a cat. Considering there's a cat in these alerts, that <laughs> that's all I got to go on. <laughs> there's a robot and there's a cat. Woo! I am. That's crazy. That's that's crazy. <laughs> I love it so much. Yeah, no, I stopped watching FF7 remake trailers a long time ago. Dude, they came out with like six different trailers for that game and they got progressively more... I, I think they got progressively worse and worse. Like, it showed way too much of the game. They could show like... 5% of the content in those trailers, people would still buy the game, I think, equally as much. And you would still have that same era, or like, aura of mystery, aura of mystery around it. <clears throat> See, this cat! I don't know, this cat's in my alerts, but I don't know who the fucking cat is. Uh, thank you so much, Imana, for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Speaking of emotes, by the way, I need to talk to Dom, but uh, I have an extra emote idea that I will hopefully be getting. I don't know. I don't want to rush him, but like maybe in a few weeks. So we're going to get a new emote. <clears throat> Yeah, you know what? That is like my favorite thing though. That that comment. Like, I love how every 13 Sentinels fan is just like, just play it, trust me, and says nothing else. Like, that's amazing. <laughs> the power of just play it, trust me. And it works. That's crazy. That's crazy. I feel like I've been saying that about um the latest Batman film where I'm just like, just watch it. Just just watch it. Trust me. You don't need to know anything. Just watch it. <clears throat> but it's just it's crazy to me that that shit just works though uh. who knows maybe uh after this game i'll have a whole branded set of 13 sentinels you know if i'm that obsessed with this game i will never know <clears throat> <laughs> Just do it. Just play the game. That's all you need to do. 13 Sentinels? What happened to 1 through 12? See, I can't answer that because clearly if I answer that, that spoils the entire game for all of you that have already played it. Because uh, that would, uh, y you know, the crystal theories are valuable. I, c I can't. I can't just spill the answer like that that easily because the the other 1 through 12 sentinels is a uh, very telling for the rest of the story. Yes. <coughs> 14 has you hostage. That's a okay. You know what's great though? You can play 14 at the same time as 13 Sentinels. That's what I'm doing. And I might hate my life for it. Cause yeah, the new patch today, I, I'm actually super dire to play, but I'm gonna wait until like Thursday this week. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Um, Irfan, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. A completely blind crystal theory. Oh God. See, these are fun. I, I actually haven't thought about this. <laughs> I haven't thought about this game at all and like what's it about. Um, okay. Ooh. <sighs> what is what is this game about? <gasps> um Shit. Uh, uh this game is It's an isekai. I'll start off with that. This game is definitely an isekai. And... It, uh... <laughs> Shit. Where do I go from there? Okay, um... Shit. 
shit, I don't even know if there's like a main character. Holy fuck, I know nothing about this game. Is there, is there, you know what? Okay, hold on. I'll make my theory based off of this title screen. Okay, so I'll stare at this title screen and come up with a theory about what the, what, to see what this game is about. Um, so there's like a, there's a Gundam there and maybe the guy in the middle is like the pro tag. I don't know, he's looking at the camera, so maybe he's the pro tag. Uh, okay, so you got a Gundam, you got all these kids, uh, you got, uh, okay, and then I'll run with the theory that this is clearly an isekai. And so, uh, so this is the adventure of these kids so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and a cat oh there's 13. oh maybe that's where the 13 sentinels comes from oh maybe like we're the 13 sentinels like the the these these kids maybe we're like the 13 sentinels okay 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 i got it so um what if the kids are like uh gundams wait what if this is like a futuristic society where gundams have evolved to a form to a human form so like these kids look like they're human but they're actually uh um they're they're gundams in a uh, human form so they're robots and th that also explains explains the isekai side of things because yeah that can only happen in an isekai clearly um this is like a futuristic okay yeah that, that that makes sense that makes sense so the big plot twist of the game is that these 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 kids these these kids are uh, all actually gundams so this is like a gundam versus gundam universe uh, universe uh so seemingly we are fighting like the big, what we think of Gundams, like, Wah! yeah, 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 we, we fight those. But like, then we find out like, oh shit, like we're fighting our own kind. And uh, we, we never knew about it. And uh, <laughs> it's gonna be super depressing. They're gonna be like killing their grandmothers and, and siblings and shit without knowing. Uh, that's, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, uh, I think I'm thinking too much like near. You know what? Maybe, maybe I gotta think outside that box. Uh, I don't know why this gives me like near vibes. Anyway, uh, 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 okay. You know what? Scratch that theory. It sucked. Uh, it's a, this game is about... <sighs> Fuck, I don't know. Sounds like a legit Gundam plot. Yeah, well, that's what I'm trying to go for. But I'm also not a writer. I, I'm terrible at this shit. Like, I don't... Fuck if I know what this game is. Um, hold on, I just realized that we need to be in this one. There we go. <clears throat> uh, shit. This tells me nothing about the game, damn it. Which is like, good, I like that. But clearly you see that we're like in a ruined world. So this game definitely takes place in a future an apocalyptic future setting. Apocalyptic future isekai. We have to step forward. Maybe there's time travel involved, so like you have to step forward into the future uh, to rewrite the past. Robots are gonna take over the world. And, uh, we're going into the future to, uh, Fuck it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a mess. <clears throat> oh. It's an idol game. 
What if one of these kids is an idol? My bet is on the girl in the front. The one that's to the right of the main front guy in the distance. This, this girl, she's, she's the idol. You think the giant robot? Oh, maybe that's the plot twist. Oh, the, 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 the giant robot is, uh, is an idol. Y'all, I'm losing brain cells. <laughs> The villain is, uh... See, the game, the game wants you to think that the, the Gundam is the villain. But, it's... The, the villain is actually the cat. Oh, it's the cat! The cat's the bad guy. Calling it now, cats are evil, right? So, like, um, the, the, the cat in the corner... The cat in the corner is definitely the bad guy. The main villain of the game is a cat. I'm convinced. Wait, but when, where does the mini robot come into place? Because I know about that, like, mini, the, the robot character. I don't, maybe the robot is, like, your way of time traveling. And, uh, you, uh... Oh, what if the robot's the bad guy? Oh, jeez. This is rough. This is rough. Shit. All right. That being said, I think I'm ready to play the video game. <clears throat> oh boy. I'm ready to have no idea what's happening. I'm wondering if I should get out the whiteboard. Um. Is it? It's... Uh, maybe I'll decide later. I don't know. Maybe I'll need to whip it out. It's just right back here. So, like, if I need it, I'll get it. The apron is a wearable cosmetic. I, I don't think so. Wait, I could have done that this whole time? What the fuck was that? That was sick. I could have changed the whole music. Oh, now it's without the ambience in the background. I could have done this the whole time. Ugh. I already like this music. I know this is just the title screen, but <laughs> I'm already digging it so much. <clears throat> I want to listen to both eventually, but we'll start with English. I repeat, we interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumicho, destroying everything in its path. Oh, it's loud. Sorry. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. That the express lanes are currently out of service. The roads are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed. Is that me? I'm not the guy. <clears throat> Whoa. 
in the wait what what is happening did i just teleport in like wait am i the gundam wait was i right like i'm the gundam it's really happening just as you said a kaiju attacked like in that movie so we'll do what we have to do get in the robots and fight our fate was sealed a long time ago I love this art so much. Whoa. Am I inside the robot? You what the are. Where did my clothes go? <laughs> Warning. <laughs> Good question. Enemy in range. Was that my voice? It's like hearing myself talking in my head. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. What the fuck? Holy shit. It's it's coming this way. Oh, how do I move this thing? Good question. For Yasaka Kun, can you hear me? Gojo Senpai, what are you? Why are you in Sekigahara's Sentinel? Senpai, are you like a Oh god. We can discuss that later. What? Do you understand the situation we're in? Time the travel, no. Attack by deep forces. I came here to fight. But I don't know how to control any of this. Give me a tutorial. I'm done. No time for a full rundown. We'll have to settle for the fundamentals. Yeah, tutorial. Let's go. To be controlled with your mind. Oh. There's another body connected to your brain. Try to direct it. Oh, jeez. Mind control robots? Whoa, it moved! But now my head feels weird. It's like scratchy or something. That's the link system of the nanomachines inside your brain. Whoa. You'll also have a direct feed of information from the sentinel sensors. It should sound like your own voice is speaking directly to you. For now, you'll just have to get used to it as you fight. I can walk, Senpai. They're coming closer. I keep getting these pop-ups in the way when I try to look around. That's your equipment interface. You what? Have to neutralize the D-forces in front of you. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but how's this? Uh, to control your pilots, move the cursor over the pilot. Select A, open the menus. Oh, uh, once the menu is open, press A to select action and destroy the enemy using arm mounted machine cannons. What? We just immediately start with battle. What? What? The, whoa, this is really cool. Um, uh, 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 150. It's just a worker? Time to kill this bitch. A uh, small crawling kaiju equipped with a low output beam gun, though it may be the weakest among the kaiju, it's still 8 millimeters in length. Millimeters? Meters, rather. And a major threat to humans, moves in packs, but has low durability. Okay. Oh god, wait, don't kill me. So it's Konal. Holy shit. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> That's a lot of enemies over there. Uh, okay. Uh, adjust the attack range and target as many enemies as possible. Okay. Calm. 
Whoa. I love the animation for it. So power. Okay. Wait, it moved! Oh god, did I get all of them? Okay. Wait, we're just casually destroying the city, though. Oh! You dreamed about it? For backup, Izumi. My name is Juro Kurabe. I'll try to remember that. I'll forget in five minutes. Uh, select heavy knuckles. What can I do? So you can repair, defend, it charges your EP. Okay. So no friendly fire. Pilot. That really isn't easy me. But how? Huh? Did we do it? What do you What do you mean? Wait, so that other guy wasn't naked, so he wasn't in a sentinel. Where were you? What the fuck is happening? Me? Juro Karabe's story is now available. Oh. menu uh yeah okay the story of juro karabe 1985 sorry the date is underneath the camera this again what is going on Juro, let's go home. Shiba Hey. What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. What the? Going to school, living my life. It's like I'm not supposed to be here. Dude, I always thought if that I going to school well, every day. Man. Uh, thought cloud? <laughs> Sometimes when you learn about a specific person or thing, it'll be added as a keyword. Shiba Kun's a bit of a class clown, <laughs> but he's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. Cute. They want me to talk to Shiba again. Can I go through the desk? Oh, you can. I'm being courteous. I'm like trying to walk around the desks. <laughs> Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Already? I just lent it to you yesterday. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots fights in the city? I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> you sure love Mecha, don't you, Jiro? Let me know if you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. You've really turned into a movie buff, huh? <laughs> Do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing the stuff in my dreams, too. Yep, definite movie addiction. <laughs> You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. 
Can't talk to him anymore. Okay. Uh, Iori Fusaka. Oh, her. Fuyusaka sounds asleep again. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. What? I think I'm officially lost. I'm just eavesdropping. Did I get in trouble for eavesdropping? So as I was saying... Uh, that's awkward. It's... Ew, no. I mean, it is... I'm a... not gonna eavesdrop anymore. Any protagonists near the window? No? She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. She shows up in your dreams. Hmm. Hey, by the way, I saw that one video up for rent. Oh, the one you told me about the other day? Really? Yep, gonna rent it. I've got to. Oh, crap. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. It's always something, isn't it? Guess I'll wait here. Wonder what he's up to. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Hey, Fuyusaka-san. Rise and shine. Oh, we're waking her up? Class is already over. Kurabe kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I. I had another weird dream. And you were there. Huh? Me? Me? What kind of dream was it? Well, um. Dude! Oh, this sucks, man. Can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute. What's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. It's not like that. Hmm? Oh, yeah? Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me. Carry on. <sighs> Sorry, Fuyusaka-san. Let's talk about this some other time. <sighs> yeah. Are you a chaos gremlin? I'm going home now. Okay. See you tomorrow. I love how my expression went to done. I should get going too. What? Mm. I know I shouldn't tease you like that. Yeah, bitch. But it's your fault for keeping secrets from me. Hey, I'm sorry. I'll buy you a crepe next time. Crepe. Hey. Hey. Could you move? Sorry. But seriously, Ami Gucci, we gotta catch that guy in quick. Either. You wanna hang out against that badly? He's got all the good video games. They're just waiting for me to play him. Everyone's but the sucky thing is, he's never around unless you make plans. Really supporting one another. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. You know, Amiguchi-kun usually grabs a snack <clears throat> on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right. He was there during break, too. Hi. Hey, Kurabe-kun. Hi. What 
is it, Sawatari-san? Those papers in the podium... Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Well, it's your turn this week. Oh, is it? Oh. The papers are on the podium. Fine. It's my turn this week. Is this it? Y yes, that's right. Please take care of it. I'm glad I got a stack of papers. Shiba, I got a stack of papers. Grab your stuff and come on. Um, about that. <laughs> about that. <laughs> about that. I have a stack of papers, you see. Sorry, I can't. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. <sighs> Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. <laughs> but we're not giving up on Amiguchi, all right? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. Okay. Wait, school bag. Additional controls, pause menu. Okay. Sakura High, new building, 1985. Mystery files. I feel like, um... Wow, everything's maxed out. Okay. Dialogue type. Oh! An auto-advance option? Like, you can adjust the timing. That's awesome. Start intro. Okay. Wow. like that. Retry? Wait, what's... Restart current stage from the begin. What? I love this art style a lot. Alright, nurse's office. The settings? Yeah! That's a lot of really good settings. Excuse me? Hmm. She's not here. Where is she? She's dead! What should I do with these papers? Oh god. Can I just leave them here? Yes. Hmm? There's a document with my picture on it. What is this? What? I'll just take a peek. She's stalking me? Juro Izumi? It's my photo, but... What? The last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. <sighs> Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Huh? Patient is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? <laughs> Patient is obedient? What are you doing to me? Kurabe-kun. Oh god, Booba. Holy shit. What brings you here? Oh, you know, just these stack of papers. I think you forgot these. Oh my. You brought them back for me? I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Karabe-kun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. I'm blushing. <laughs> Shiba-kun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one more thing. Kurabe-kun, how is your current condition? How is my condition? That's... It... I, I don't know. My condition? You know. Any heart palpitations? Dizziness? <laughs> He's staring straight at her boobs! Are getting enough sleep at night? <laughs> the gaze! Why do you ask? <laughs> There's a nasty cold going around. At this time of year? <laughs> That's a bit odd, isn't it? <laughs> I'll give you some medicine just in case. Oh, that was great. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm fine. Really. I see. If you'll excuse me. Nice gaze, bro. Nice gaze. Was 
there something else you needed? Miss Morimura, have you seen Amiguchi-kun anywhere? Amiguchi-kun, the first year? I just made my rounds, but I don't believe I ran into him. That's okay. Okay. Anything else? Was there something else you needed? Uh, I don't know. Okay, nope, that's it. Thanks. Oh. Whoa, you're still here? Should I was staring at boobs, man. What's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on. Stopping by the video store on the way home. Holy shit. That brings me back. <laughs> the same day heading home. Kayako Kayakicho shopping district. Something wrong? Mm, we couldn't catch Amiguchi. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. It's true that one video was already rented out, but we didn't come back empty-handed. What? That old ass kaiju flick? Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. What? It's a real masterpiece from 74. Not it. You Dimos. and your giant robots. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Daimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long-running series. The Sentinel isn't responding. Miura what? Kuna? The activation. You know this guy? I know I did it right. Why won't it start? What? Miura-kun. Uh, Shuro kun What's wrong? Is everything all right? You look awful. <laughs> Do you feel sick? I'm fine. He looks sick. Oh, what? Oh, your forehead. Bro, Did your you forehead's glowing. Light up? Sorry, but you shouldn't touch it. Touch it. Oh, what the... it's too late. I touched it. My hand's lighting up too. No. What's going on? This is bad. Uh. Sentinel number 13. Transmitting. Don't tell me. Are you? <laughs> what was that? Over there. All I did was touch the forehead. A sentinel. Wait, it looks different. That's a robot from that movie. What? You idiot! What are you doing? I don't know. Send that thing back. I am. I did that. Okino's damn code. He added a forced activation protocol. Well, this will be interesting. Huh? Are you? You leave me no choice. What? I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. Dude, speak English! Uh... To be continued. Uh, oh. Uh... He's not my friend. I thought we were cool. We, we weren't cool. Oh god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 8 30 a.m. We're still in 1985 land. I'm late. I can't believe I slept through my alarm. Those weird dreams won't leave me alone. I'm losing beauty sleep. Beauty sleep. <laughs> What's that? Oh. Hey, you all right? Guess that. 
That's a yes. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Uh, sorry. Huh? Wait, are you? Oh no! It's the morning assembly! Oh! And the book. An uncanny resemblance. Huh? Did she drop this? ID. I see the kitty. First That's year. the evil mastermind. I know it. Might be worth looking into. That cat's evil. That that cat is the evil person of the game, the villain. Break time. Yuri chan. Uh, good morning, sleepyhead. You were sound asleep. Class is over? The teacher kept giving you dirty looks. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Duh. You slept through the whole class. <laughs> I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Ah, uh, I'm Sawatari. And I'm Fuyusaka san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. I've barely even started my high school life. And <laughs> this is how I make a first impression? Yep. Yua Chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Nice to meet ya. You too, Kisaragi san. Call me Usami. Weird <laughs> nickname, but I'm Classroom different. looks old. This is set in 1985, so yeah, it's old. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwaka. You're so cute. Usami chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. <laughs> Aren't we all? Where'd you go to middle school, Usami chan? Oh, uh. You know, nowhere special. Kind of far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan. Yeah? You and Goto-senpai, are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Goto. Well, he's awfully popular I already forgot who that was. School. Seriously? That guy? Was that the guy? I think that was the guy in the very beginning. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh... Don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. Oh. You sure yawn a lot. <laughs> Are you a night owl? Not really. It's just... I keep having strange dreams. They keep me up at night. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but last night I was surrounded <laughs> by flames like a burning city. Oh. This huge shadow started coming for me. And then I woke up. That's normal. Uh... <laughs> She's like, "Uh, yeah." Huh? Your forehead is red. Well, she was sleeping on the desk. Oh, um, I kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. <laughs> huh? I wonder why. Well, uh, we gotta call me the out. The guy I ran into is kind of cute, so. Geez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. <laughs> Sounds like love at first sight. Really? Definitely. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just an encounter. You two are meant to be. Totally. Um, you think so? Maybe. Cute guy. Oh no. What do we think about the cute guy? <laughs> what is this? My heart is racing. <laughs> no. I wish I could have talked to him more. <laughs> he wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? No. Maybe he's from a different school. Glad we thought about the cute guy. Welcome together. I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. 
I didn't talk to him much. I just bumped into him. That's it. Welcome to join us, Usami chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Oh, God, crepes. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. Crepes. What the? You okay? Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? <laughs> Gosh, Natsuno chan. Don't break the door. I didn't. You definitely did. This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. Nope. Old as fuck. This school is so Oops. old, you don't see that every day. Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year. But I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. That's a long fucking time. Is it your class next door, Nacho? Don't worry about it. I had to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Natsuna-chan, this is Usami-chan. Last name, Kisaragi. And I'm not to know Minami. Nice to meet you. Oh. Minami-san, there you are. Jeez, everybody's names, I cannot remember these. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. Really? Where? Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Oh. I think I know that kitty. Kitty. Okay. So your name is Miwako Sawatari. Your name is... Usami? It's not coming up, but I think it was Usami. No, Tomi Kasaragi. Fuck. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I'm a hot mess. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. Usami-chan, okay. She has red glasses. Okay. Got it. So that's your real name, though. Okay. I I I got it. I got it. It has black fur with a white belly, right? You've seen it too, Miwachan? All the time. <laughs> Dang. No fair. I haven't seen it yet. So it's behind the science room, huh? That's it. I'm gonna go looking. Hmm. Guess that nap did her some good. Ah. <laughs> uh. Break time! Oh, we're trying to find the guy. Go get him. Oh, kitty. I don't see it anywhere. Where could it be? I'm trying to find the kitty, rather. The evil kitty! Oh! I found you! Hi, kitty! Evil kitty. What are you doing hiding back here? Huh? Where'd it go? What? But why? Don't act like you don't know. It's Kurabe-kun with Amiguchi-kun. Oh, that guy we that we were supposed to here. find. Amiguchi-kun, this isn't like you. Why, we're Just blushing? Listen, okay? This is a first for me, too. Oh, oh, you oh! Feel it, right? I want to pursue this with you. Oh! Please. Oh! I don't know. They're definitely talking about it's something just... else. Huh. Fuyasaka-san? Oh, no! What is she doing The gaze! Here? I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. <laughs> what? Don't mind me. Bye. Wait, <laughs> there seems to have been a misunderstanding. <laughs> I like how she said it like that. <laughs> me and this guy dating? <laughs> That's rich. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. Let's stop blushing. We were just talking about something. Yeah. The strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? Every day I have strange dreams. 
They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. All right. What about uh, Kyukai? <laughs> Whenever I think about him, my heart starts racing. It's like love at first sight. Oh boy. If I said that, would he laugh at me? Maybe. So what are these dreams? Well, lately. Whoa! It's been Holy a shit! Crazy stuff. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. That's. They do seem that's, that's a lot of gifted subs, dude. The thing is, same goes for this guy. How do it's I like we're seeing pause? There we go, dude. Kairosuke, thank you so much for gifting 25 subs to the community. I really appreciate it. Holy shit! Thank you. <laughs> I hope everybody that got gifted subs enjoy the emotes. It's so sweet. Thank you for the support of the stream. Oh, thank you. And the same stuff. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. Oh, our dreams are connected. Oink. Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, Very romantic. I think it's something else. Like, I don't know, telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? The future? Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Hmm. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually, I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Because I thought... <laughs> we know what you thought. <laughs> we can talk more later. Well, let's go, Fuyusaka-san. To be continued. Beginning of the end? What the fuck? That's so ominous. May 27th, 4.32? Oh, yeah. I got in this robot and... Oh, good. Looks like you're okay. Kurabe-kun? Fuyasaka-san. Everything you said came true. We got kaiju everywhere, right? I think I'd prefer my kaiju to stay on the silver screen. Looks like there's more on the way. Can you get your sentinel up? I'll try, but... I think it might be broken in some places. You're in a second-generation sentinel. It weighs around 2,200 tons. Jesus! With that kind of weight, it can end up crushing its own components if it collapses. This big robot looks so tough. Is it really that useless if it falls over? Don't let your guard down. We have another wave of D-forces inbound. Oh, you're that you Goto guy. Like are you a cat? What are these D-forces? Daimos. There's a kaiju. That's them. They're trying to reach the mainframe in the depths below. That's why they attack every terminal that has a connection to it. If they manage to reach the mainframe, this city will be wiped out. But we can't stand the defensive forever. With so few of us, we could never sustain it. Instead, we have to rely on the terminal's internal defenses, a specialized program. That puts up an impenetrable shield around the area. The D forces would be completely locked out. Hmm. That's got to be the Aegis system Miss Morimura was talking about. But Miss Morimura, the nurse. Use? We're only using it to buy time. Oh God, what's How going on? It? Whichever one of you is closest, move to the D forces invasion point. Invasion point. You mean where the kaiju are all trying to get to? Yes. The terminal sits directly below that point. Make your way toward the terminal, which is the invader's target. Okay.
I'm confused. I don't know what button to push. I put <laughs> game. I'm pressing all of the buttons. Uh, what? What? What do I do? I I can't. Uh. uh not even my home button is working. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, I just switched Joy-Cons. Okay. Okay, maybe, I think my Joy-Con might have just bugged out. Okay. Uh, L to move the cursor to where you want to go, then press A to start moving. Okay. Can't mess this up. I have to focus. Can't mess this up. Number thirteen, moving out. Oh. You made it. Yeah, I made it. My my Joy-Con bugged out, but it's okay. I made it. Of your access ID should be capable of activating it. And that'll fix it. That's enough to get rid of all the kaiju. No, it won't be that simple. The defense systems have a long startup. We'll need to buy enough time for Aegis to initialize. Until it activates, our mission is to keep the D forces away from the terminal. We'll try. Warning: Daimo signatures identified. Loss condition. You must prevent the terminal use until some, uh, protect until you, the self-defense system, I guess, is activated. Damage to the terminal is shown in the top left of the screen. Okay. Switching pilots. Okay. So this takes EP compared to the other. Theoretically, I don't want to move, but here, do we do that or do we do this? Yo, I kind of dig this. Sentry gun. Auto fires on kaiju. Holy shit. I like that it highlights, like, what part of the robot it uses. That's cool. It's the little things. Ground. I attacked the enemies that were further away. <laughs> Wait, can I get all of that? Oh, this is so cool. I want to get both of them. I don't think this is big enough. Oh, it is big enough? Yo, Pog. You're in the Sentinel. You're going to tell me who you are now. I believe that's Sentinel number 12, Okino's machine. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama, and this is my Sentinel. Takatoshi Hijiyama, you were with Okino-kun before. 
I've come to save the human race. No. Keep this region to me. <laughs> that sounds so bland. I've come to save the human race. Yes. I don't believe you, buddy. That's what they all say. such a gamer let's go all right takatoshi hijiyama all right nineteen forty four Maybe I don't Looks know like where to put my camera for this game. There. Maybe I'll move it up a little the bit. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. That's weird. Someone changed the shifter's access key, huh? Not that it matters. Kiriko Sun. Someone huh? moved it? So you came after me, Hijiyama kun. This has to be some misunderstanding. You can't be a spy, can you? Hmm. Sounds like the professor, all right. Why did you run off? The military's looking for you. They think you stole some kind of intel. But you're the professor's daughter. You can't be a spy. It doesn't make sense. Sorry to break it to you. I'm not his daughter. The real Kiriko Doji is still over in Tokyo. Huh? What? But the whole spy thing's kind of a stretch. Real? I don't need to steal any I'm so confused. I'm oh no. Them after all. I feel like I feel like this game is going to rip my brain a new asshole because like I I am so bad at understanding timey-wimey shit in video games. I, I'm I'm terrible at it. It just whenever it comes to messing with timelines and shit, I just get so confused every time. I'm just I feel like this ain't gonna be a good time. <laughs> I'm already so lost. Ah! We were in 1985, but then whenever we fight in the Sentinels, it seems like a present day kind of thing. But obviously there's time travel because we haven't aged at all in that time. And this is 1944 for some reason. And uh, th th this guy aged a little bit since we saw him, but not by much. It didn't look like that much. I just, mm. I'm so bad at time travel based plots. I'm so bad at it. My brain has a very hard time Professor understanding. Dojo the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? This is gonna be one hell of a time. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? I know he just said that. I needed to read it again. Okay. Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... I... I'm... Okay. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, man. <laughs> I have to. I... Uh, too many characters. Timey-wimey bullshit. Uh, this is fine. Okay, this is fine. You 
You know what? Maybe I'll do the whiteboard long ways. All right. Welcome to class, everybody. So, uh, uh, I already forgot my name. Hold on. This is fine. Uh, let me put the game back up for a sec. Okay. Uh, mystery files, detail information on events. <sighs> okay. Characters. Characters. Okay. So we got... Minus one MP? What the fuck is that? Okay. Okay. Uh... This is fine. Hold on. I just let me write down characters. This is complicated. I'm gonna put uh, Juro Karaba, but in parentheses, question mark Izumi, or uh, the doctor mentioned his last name was different. I don't remember what it was. I don't think it lists it. I'm just gonna say Izumi. Uh, I think that's what it was. It started with an I and it had five letters. I'll remember that later. Okay, um... Mystery files. Okay, so this is... 16 years old. Will this be on the exam? Yeah, you guys gotta fucking study, okay? This plot is gonna require a lot of studying. So we got Iori... Fu oh. Iori Fuyusaka. She has two friends, Miwako Sawatari, childhood friend, and Amiguchi. Oh, gay. I need to write that. Uh, Shu Amiguchi. And then you gotta put like a. Uh, a red. You gotta, you gotta have the gaze, okay? The ga the gaze. I got a cute little heart. They're gonna deny it, but it's okay. It's fine. Unseal. What? You need mystery points to unseal stuff? What the fuck is this? Um. Arthurius, thank you so much for uh, gifting us uh, to the community. I appreciate it. <sighs> okay. So, Miss Morimura. She was the school nurse. And she's like... Uh, I'm assuming experimenting on us or something. Like, she clearly knows some shit. There's documents here on the... N the documents in the nurse's office. Yeah, I want to know what that's about. Also, I think it's telling that the UI here has, like, this DNA symbol on the right side of the screen. I don't think that's an accident. Um... I wonder if, like, cloning is a thing, or if time travel is a thing, like... Wait, she said this- this chick just- who's this chick again? Kiriko Doji? She said that her real self wasn't- was somewhere else. So there's, like, multiples of people? Or is this just, like, a different- a, a parallel universe version of her? God damn it, I hate this. Okay, um... Uh, okay. This is- this is fine. Ki- 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 Kiriko... Do- Doji? I'm gonna say in- uh, I'm gonna say times two, cause I'm- I'm concerned. Uh, times two. Times two? Okay, it- where- this is also- I'm gonna also take a note of, uh, time frames here. I'm- I'm very smart, I'll have you guys know. I'm- I'm very intelligent, I'm gonna figure this whole game out. Okay, uh, so timelines, timelines, green. Okay, so timelines, uh, this is 1985, 
1985. <laughs> Question marks next to the nurse. And then uh, 1944. That's the current year that we're in. These are high school students. Oh shit, what was that classmate's name that wiped our memories? Sheba? Sheba. Wait, I think I remember. Wait, I, I think his name was Sheba. Um. I don't know if you can actually read that. Alright, Sheba wiped our memories and I wrote- I said he's an asshole. Uh, what else happened? That girl and then... Uh, I forgot this guy's name. Fukutoshi something. I'll write his name down when it comes up. Okay, I'm fine! This is fine! <sighs> this game just started and I'm already massively confused. But... Thanks to the power of the whiteboard, it's all going to be figured out. You'll see the power. I'm not sure I believe this. You built them? Yeah, that was me. I drew up the designs in an editor. Then I just had to send the order into an automated factory. What? But that's... No, you're probably just confused. That's all. I even implanted the linking component into your head. Though you wouldn't remember, of course. Anesthesia and all. When you came to the factory, you said you were there on behalf of the professor. It was as good a cover story as any. Huh? You what? If you're not the real Kiriko, then... Then who are you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Or maybe... This really isn't about who I am. Why Maybe not? It's just about what you feel towards me. Oh, come God. on. <sighs> You're kind of a simple guy. There's something about you, though. What are you even saying? I'm saying I'm gonna miss you. But my key just finished decrypting. <gasps> what the fuck? Okay. So that's it. Oh! This is goodbye. Well, uh, that's so awkward. Okay. I'm gonna miss you. Bye. Kiriko-san? She vanished? That's impossible. You just witnessed it, my guy. It was barely a moment. She can't have had time to run into the mountains. Where did Kiriko-san go? Oh, someone's coming. He's the one who snuck into the factory. There's something fishy about him. But if he's working with her, then he might know where she's gone. I'll hide behind a tree and see what he's up to. Hide behind a tree. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? If this log is right, Okino just crossed over. The fuck? I'd still catch up if I'm fast. What? Coordinates read Sector 4 in the year 1984. No. 84? Wait. But 85 is... What are you doing? Give it up. There's nowhere to run. Suspicious man. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? Well, he means it's not her. You know Kiriko Doji? Yeah. I knew it. Though that wasn't actually her, of course. Is that really true? 
She said something along those lines, too. She, huh? Must have been pretty convincing then. What? His real name is Sukasa Okino. What? He wears that stuff for his own reasons. What? Don't joke about that. You're just trying to confuse me. Oh my god. But I was crushing. I'm gay now. This can't be true. Can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? This can't be true. Can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew this Hijiyama. So you're the spy. But there's no escaping me now. <sighs> what are you doing here? If I told you, you'd laugh in my face. Answer me, or I'll do more than laugh at you. I'm going to time travel to another era. <sighs> Is that a joke? Or are you just insane? <sighs> Both. He's just playing games with me. Time travel? Really? This is reality, not some petty dreadful. You're going to time travel, huh? Try a better story next time. This Kiriko Doji of yours? He did it himself just moments ago. Escaped from here into the future. I'm not falling for your lies. I don't have time for this. Step back. I'm going after him. Well, so you do know where she went. Where? Show me. You don't want to get caught in this shift. Keep your distance. Right. Your time travel. I'd like to see you try it. Don't say I didn't warn you. That was cool. Sunset. Kaede River Riverbed. <laughs> Starting to think he ain't gonna show. 1985 again. Ah. Uh -huh. Probably shitting his pants right now. Turned tail and ran, huh? Guess he didn't have the balls after all. Hey, that's me. Whoa, hold it. What? Yoki soba pan. <laughs> stir fried in sauce and folded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post war world. But if there's one exception, it's Yoki soba pan. Oh, if I could trust anything, it's his Yoki soba pan, man. So good. Don't give me that shit. Nearly knocked my friggin' arm out of its socket. You wanna apologize? Want to cry about it some more, bitch? Sorry about that. You're sorry? Sorry, don't pay my goddamn hospital bills. Oh, are you a Karen now? I don't have money, if that's what you're after. Wait, Wajima-san, I heard about him. People have been talking about this guy. He's the one who's been snatching all the jackets. The hell? Wait, yeah. This guy's wearing one of our uniforms. Got a problem. Oh, so you know the guy who owned this. <laughs> I don't have any relatives around. I'm basically homeless at the moment. So the clothes and the cash were a really big help. He was a generous guy. Tell him I said thanks. Take care. Hold on, hold that thought.
Okay. Sorry, that was really important. Okay, uh, uh, uh. Anyway, so my Yoki Soba pan is awesome. Hey, don't you walk away. Come on. My Yoki Soba pan. <gasps> Beat him up. I didn't even get a single bite. Oh. You just made a big mistake, punk. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. You're the one who's about to have a problem. You heard him, boys. Sick him. Yep. Good. Stop. We're sorry. For the glory of Yakisoba Pond. Oh, we'll get you another snack, man. I've got no mercy for people who waste food. Damn Especially straight. Yakisoba Pond. Yeah. My man. I thought you called me up for a There are some starving you. kids out there. Someone want to tell me what I missed here? And who are you? A friend of theirs? I'm Nenji Ogata from Sakura High. I didn't ask you to fight my battles, pal. Wait, it's you. You're that jacket snatcher. Uh, Hijiyama or something. Takatoshi Hijiyama, at your service. I told them I didn't need the help, but they wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah, I'll bet. Drop the tough guy act already. I could say the same thing. Don't go picking fights you can't win. I've heard enough, douchebag. And you owe me a fight. Oh, okay, fight. Fight me then. Come at me. Okay. Well, you're gonna regret it. You're gonna get beat up. <gasps> Who are you, kid? Don't just watch a fight. What the? Well, look at this. I guess you fit right in here in the 80s. <laughs> here, I figured I'd have to check up on you. Oh, no! Is this the... This is that Kiriko Doji? And that face. Wait. Oh no. Oh, wait. Wait, that's awkward. Getting one. Out of my way, damn it. Sukasa Okino? Okay, yeah, that guy. Looks like it's almost dawn. This is about where I last saw him. He has to be close by. That bastard kicked like a horse. Pretty tough for a thug. He almost had me for a moment there. Looks like it's locked. Oh no, Kiriko Doji. Kiriko son. Were you looking for me all night? <laughs> He's blushing. Still as reckless as ever, huh? <sighs> Don't try to talk around it. I I know who you are under those clothes. I figured you'd be here soon, so got some breakfast for you too. What? Half a year I've been searching for you. Half a year thinking of what I'd say to your face. I got you some yucky soba pond. What? You didn't get any yesterday, right? Oh, you are trying to kiss my you ass. Yucky soba pond for me? Hey, look, that, that's not the point. Oh my god, he's fallen for it. Dude, we're practically dating. He got me yoki so yucky soba pan. Uh, yep, that that we're, we're practically Take me dating. Back to my own time. We're going, whether you like it or not. And if I say no, what'll you do? Push me over? Pin me down? Hot. I would never. Besides, you're a man. 
aren't you? And you're gay, aren't Why you? Don't you find out? <laughs> <laughs> Bold! Shit! This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? That was bold as hell! Tsukasa Okino? Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for her. his daughter. Kiriko-san came along with him, but what does it mean if this isn't her? Wait, again? Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for her efforts in the... His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but what does it mean if this isn't her? Uh, wait, uh... Everything will make sense in due time, don't worry. Professor Doji led the Oops! Dog. What does it mean? Why disguise yourself as Kiriko-san? Even convincing everyone you were a girl. Professor Doji thought it'd be a good idea. See, he's... Well, all Shikishima's tech really began with him. Shikishima made incredible strides after the war. And a lot of that was thanks to his work. Though it didn't hurt that I taught him about his future's technology. But why? Why would you make that deal with him? For the Sentinel. What? The Sentinel? Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... So you're actually Tsukasa Okino. Why do you wear women's clothes? Doesn't feel great to hear you say it like that. <laughs> you weren't complaining when you confessed to me. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm not exactly the picture of masculinity anyway. <laughs> Better than trying to pass as some militant with a buzz cut. So why are you dressed like that now? Because I know you like it. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Hijiyama-kun. <laughs> Let's say some binaries work for me and others don't. Such a player! <laughs> this lets me hide the fact that I'm even alive. This is the best character. So what did you plan to do with the Sentinel? It was an accident that it showed up at all. It was never meant to be there. I mean, come on. You've seen it. You think they could make that back in the 1940s? Even here in the 80s, it's out of our league. That's not human craftsmanship. It was made in the future, in an automated factory. Let me put it in layman's terms. There was an incident and it got broken. Our goal was to fix it there so it could fight again. But wasn't it meant to be used against the USA? Uh... Then who or what was it made to fight? Never mind. I have to get back, no matter what. If we can finish the Sentinel Project, we can win the war. You're a good guy, but kind of an open book, you know that? So Say whatever you want. I don't care who you really are anymore. Just get me home. I know about the air raids and Okinawa, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I can't just let those attacks happen. Oh, I can't let those people die. Oh, so you did some reading in the history section between all the manual labor you've been doing and your living conditions or well, lack thereof. You're a lot more determined than I expected. You've been keeping tabs on me. I do have one suggestion. There's something I still need to do. And that something is here in 1985. I just need you to wait until that's finished. Actually, I'd really appreciate your help with it. 
It does involve you, after all. When it's finally all over. Then, you can ask me to do whatever you want. How's that sound? Anything I want? No, I... What I want is to go back to my own time. If you're sure. Why would you want to go back to 1944? He wants to save the world! From World War II. Still, think it over. My base is over there on the second floor. Where are you going? I'm wearing the uniform. Where do you think? <laughs> oh, right. Your yakisoba pawns on the desk inside. Go for it! <sighs> wow. Take was it. Is that your stomach? You haven't eaten anything since yesterday, huh? Go ahead. The door's unlocked. Oh. <laughs> you can't trick me with food. I'm not an animal. Stop being stubborn and go get some breakfast. <laughs> you can't trick me with food. Stop being stubborn. You can't trick me with food, man. in sauce and folded in sweetened bread i don't trust much in this post-war world <laughs> but if there's one exception it's my yakisoba pawn this might be the best line in the game can't convince me otherwise <laughs> where do you go now maybe he really was just manipulating me well it is yakisoba pawn. Not much I could do. <laughs> eat it. If he's in that uniform, what if I don't eat it? Probably going to school. But what's he trying to accomplish there? Well, as long as I've got it. <clears throat> so good. <laughs> the sauce is so sweet, yet so spicy. <laughs> mm. I'd hit the spot. <laughs> I For love how the simple I things in life can just be so pleasurable. It won't do me any good if he slips away. I might as well check my old school. <laughs> to be continued. Destroy all kaiju, terminals destroyed. Okay. 
Using EP. It's replenished by defeating enemies, but you can replenish it faster by defend. Uh, unable to move. Make use of it strategically. Try using the armor. Leap attack. I'm very far away, so leap attack sounds really cool. I'm acting like an amateur. Holy shit. I'll make it work. Do it again. Do it again. Maybe not. Let's see. I don't want to fail the mission. Fuck off! That's cool. Ah! More enemies. Is there no end to them? Looks like I made it in time. I'm going to activate Aegis before they overwhelm us. You're that guy from before. What are you scheming? I won't allow it. Wait, Hijiyama-kun. Let him handle this. Are you sure? He's about to do something to the saucer. It's all part of the plan. Besides, huh? there's something I want us to try. Fine. I trust you. The terminal has a few defense mechanisms in place. Now that we've got access to them, you should be able to command them yourself. Let the terminal attack the kaiju directly. We can make the saucer itself attack them? Let's give this one a shot. This phase plasma EMP. Uh, by gathering meta chips from defeating enemies, your meta gauge in the bottom left screen will increase. Oh, it's maxed. Open the menu and use the meta skill phase plasma EMP. Holy shit. Whoa. Oh. Holy shit. The terminal forced a shutdown of designated targets within range. That was amazing. Let's fire off some more of those. Don't know if we can do that, but we have a couple other tricks up our sleeve. Holy shit. The only meta skill you can currently use is phase plasma. You can only use it once. Uh, only terminal enhancements are available. You'll be able to unlock and enhance various skills. You can also increase the number of uses. What next? Let's tackle like. Kind of want to do it. Dang, that didn't kill it? I'll make it work. They're finished. Yes. Sick. Humanity stands proud. The practice round's over. No, it's too far. What next? Oh, I still I'll have a lot of EP left. Yo, I fucking love this. Eh. <laughs> Wait, I'm struggling a little bit. Okay, there we go. A fine hit. The practice round's over. Jump on it! There's something about that that's just really satisfying. Oh, I just want to... Oh, okay. Okay, I was doing too much. Tactics the game? Uh, I don't know. It's both. Oh! Aegis activation confirmed. All the hostiles in range destroyed themselves. If we had that kind of weaponry, you should have told me. Why bother with the Sentinels when we have this? It takes time to activate. And if we get taken out before it's ready, then it's all over. It means the terminal would be fully locked down. Nobody could ever open it again. Is that a bad thing? This is Renya Goto. 
You were one of the compatible pilots from Sector 5. Who are you communicating with? I'd really rather not deal with this. Don't tell him, Hijiyama-kun. No one. I'm fighting solo. What? Signal signals detected. So... Sentinels are being activated in another location. He he's not aware. Okay. Number 17 and number 19. Just how many Sentinels are online now? So Yay! I really like it so far. Like, a lot. Oh, who are you? Natsuno Minami story. New character alert. Cool. Cool. Oh, we're back in 1985. Oh, boy. All right, I'll be right back because I have to go to the bathroom and I have a special screen. I'll be right back. Give me a second. All right, I'm back. Whee! Dude, these alerts are so cool. That's a lot of roaches. I'm back. All right, so now we are on the story of... I think I wrote it. Natsuno Minami? I have no thoughts. Head empty. But we're back in 1985. Minami-san. Oh! Gotcha. Oh, you're the Notchon from earlier in their stories. Ah, uh, everything's connected. So Iori, Fuyu, Sokka, and Juro guy. Okay. What are you guys talking about so seriously over My there? My brain is trying to comprehend Nothing names really. so much. Just talking about what <laughs> Empty, I know. Like... Oh yeah, strange dreams. I bet I have those too. Oh yeah? Anything interesting? Not especially. Just wondering about stuff. Like if dreams are influenced by the movies we see. All right, Juro. Oh, yeah. That video you asked for the other day. The VHS oh, is so big. Video. I do not miss VHS era. Yes, this is it. Thanks a bunch. I was super bummed, you know. I couldn't record last week's UFO Mysteries. That baseball game was going on for freaking ever. I haven't watched the video you lent me yesterday yet. Come on! You gotta watch EXT! It's a classic! I saw it in the theater three times at least. Whoa! You 
you can't talk about aliens without seeing that movie. I don't really intend on talking about aliens anyway. Thanks for recording. Plot twist, we are aliens. No An alien stranded on Earth establishes a bond with a young boy in this sci-fi movie. <laughs> E-X-T-E-T. <laughs> too classic. That's cute. That's cute. A special series airing on TV. All about the latest UFO discoveries. I'm so glad I got a recording of it. Bet you're thinking, here she goes about those UFOs again. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Bet you're thinking, here... No, not at... I bet you... No, you're definitely thinking it. You'd be the same if you watched this. They're already here on Earth, you know? Yeah, they look like octopuses and want to destroy us all, <laughs> right? No, 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 you've got it all wrong. That's from a book. You're thinking of the War of the Worlds. <laughs> oh, not John. There's no stopping you once you get going on this stuff. Just watch. One of these days, I'll work for NASA. And I'm gonna find a real alien. Oh! You're gonna have to get better grades in science then. Oh, oh man, wow. You're right. That's rude. A classic sci-fi novel by that one famous writer. It features Martians that look like octopuses. They have three-legged weapons called tripods and use them to invade the Earth. I'll get this back to you soon. Take your time. See you guys. Bye. See you later. Aw, but Please my friends. Mm. We have to go to the audiovisual room. <laughs> oh, so right. stoked. She's so cute. I just Turn gotta off get all my the stuff. lights. Lachan. Aww. Yuki-chan. Oh. Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. Oh. You still haven't gotten your new uniform yet? Huh? Oh. Yeah, who the hell knows? But never mind that. What are you smiling about? Something good on that videotape? Oh, this? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, okay. It's a recording of a TV show on UFOs. A friend let me borrow it. <laughs> <laughs> that explains it. Glad to see Dr. Space is still alive and well. I'm weird, aren't I? Of course not. It makes me happy, actually, to know you're still my notch on. <laughs> Aww. But maybe don't call me Dr. Space anymore. We've outgrown our kid nicknames, don't you think? <laughs> Whatever you say. No. Well, if it isn't oh. Oh, you! God, that. So that Kuri gang you beat up, they're hanging around our school now. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> what are you, my mom? Huh? <laughs> I'm no damsel in distress. I can take care of my own shit. So beat it, pinhead. They're gonna what fight. Say to me? Oh god, they're gonna fight. Intervene? Or do I just watch it happen? Maybe I just walk away. Does the game let me? Ah, damn it, I have to intervene! Okay, chill out, Ogata-kun. You don't need to start a fight in the middle of the hallway. I didn't start anything. She's the one walking around here like she owns the place. Come on, you too, Yuki-chan. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Sorry, Nachan. What the? Well, that was anticlimactic. I want to see somebody with that hairstyle in present day. I don't think I've ever seen it. I'm trying to think if I've ever seen that hairstyle in present day. No, I don't think I don't think I've like unironically seen it. What do you mean? <laughs> Never seen it in any day. I knew somebody's dad in elementary school that had a pompadour. Which checks out. <laughs> that was in elementary school and yeah, it was a dad, someone's dad that I saw like those parent teacher conferences is in school that you saw parents coming in for. And uh, yep, 
uh, that student was probably very embarrassed by their dad's hair. Or not, maybe, maybe they weren't, but I think I would have been. <laughs> just like picturing it, just is like an hysterical image to me though. <laughs> Don't worry, that stuff happens all the time to me. Oh, by the way, can I come watch you practice again today? Sure. There's the bell. Better get back to class. See you soon. Hmm. If your dad, dad sold his hair, you're winning in my book. See, in my fam my dad's side of the family, they're like known to have beautiful long locks of hair in their 70s. <laughs> My dad's like in how old is my dad now? Like mid 60s. I actually don't know how old my dad is. I want to say like six early 60s, mid 60s, and he still has so much fucking hair on his head. I hope I have that gene. Uh, I don't want to head back yet. What if there's like juicy shit? She is speed. Yeah, look at how fast. I wonder if there's a school rule. If I run back and forth enough times, I wonder if there's if I get yelled at for running in the hallway. What if that's like a secret thing you can unlock in this game? <laughs> All right. Maybe the dad really did own the haircut. Wait. My Joy-Con just disconnected. Oh no. I thought I actually like triggered something, but no, my Joy-Con just stopped detention ending. <laughs> I wonder what happens to the plot that you get put in detention. The whole game is just over. Also, chat, if you do um, exclamation point start in the chat, that's what triggers like a, a full screen 13 Sentinels banner. If you guys want to play around with that, it's cute. Basically, what I'm saying is you should do it because then you can see it and it's cute. You only get to see it this day, on this day, that's it. After today, it's gone. Oh. Friend. I'm a fast girl. Get a better time today? Oh. Well, it was kinda windy today. Oh, <gasps> you did it! Running against Look at how cute that is. You know how it is. <laughs> hey, first year. I don't know how often you can make it do that. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty What's cool. Up, Me and the manager have to go and talk no, it has to be the command has to be done enough times for it to trigger. Sorry, but could you handle the cleanup today? Okay. Huh? Where did everybody go? Am I the only one still here? They just casually time travel. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Another suspicious looking man. That guy looks so sus. Look at him. Too. I wonder what they're doing here. Seems like they're full suit, gloves and sunglasses. Hmm. Men dressed in black suits. <gasps> Wait a minute. Could they really be men in black? An organization that monitors alien activity. Maybe there's a UFO that's landed near here. What? A lone alien left behind by a UFO. Oh my god. Being pursued by relentless men in black. Its only hope is to be rescued by one chosen earthling. Mm hmm. Man, mm -hmm. what a story that would be. Whoa. Whoa. Sheesh, watch where you're This going. guy pops up everywhere. I haven't seen that uniform before. Wonder what school he goes to. Wait, we can't follow him? Shit. <sighs> I'd better hurry and get on with the cleanup. Don't want Senpai to get mad. Okay? Let's do this. Yeah, it's the cute guy. <sighs> Finally done. All 
All right, man in the black suit. Secret agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call them men in black. No one really knows much else. Ivan, thank you so much. Ivan, thank you so much for the 28 months. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Uh, I'm too tired to change. Maybe I'll just go home in my gym clothes. Uh, <laughs> I am pretty sweaty. There's a cat. It's the cat. Something's in there. <gasps> uh, the robot! Wait. What if? What's going on? <gasps> there a pervert in here? <laughs> Still totally dressed. What? Hey, what the heck? What Boy? are you doing barging into the girls' locker room? I heard you scream. I was just coming to help. Uh huh. Plus, all those creeps in black suits. Been seeing them everywhere. So, I thought. You're the only creep around here, you moron. Get out of here already. Damn. Try to do something nice around here. Uh huh. Um. Hey there. <laughs> B? This is wild. B. J. Oh. No way. It talks. That's awkward. B less than five. Oh, man. This is just like the movies. <laughs> She's so cute. That's it? What? An alien stranded on Earth establishes a bond with a young boy in this sci-fi movie. It's a real 1982 classic. An alien? Are you an alien from space? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm the chosen one. <laughs> She's so cute. Hey there, little guy. Oh, did I scare you? It's okay. I'm your friend. Hmm. Can you understand me? You and I are friends. <gasps> it worked. Okay, stay calm. We are the chosen ones. Secret agents rumor and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call the men in black. Yes, it all makes sense. It, everything There's makes sense. Black suits all over campus. It's just like that one movie. They must be here to capture this alien. <laughs> the thing they are looking for. This explains it. And that means. <laughs> I must protect her. I love her. Welcome to Earth. I can't believe this is really happening. My dream is finally coming true. Oh my god. B J B J eleven. B J, is that your name? My name is Natsuno. In a Lassiter code matched. Huh? Huh? Lassiter. Yeah. That's me. Your name is BJ. You Please tell me you have a better name. I don't mean to be rude, but is that a spacesuit you're wearing? Like, is your brain inside of a jar or something? Oh my god. Lassiter. Need memory cells. That's amazing, BJ. Where'd you learn how to speak my language? Go to gate. Gate? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. But it's okay. 
I've seen the movie. <laughs> you need to call your own planet, right? And then a UFO is going to Oh my god, you. honey. Don't worry. I'm going to help you. <laughs> wow. This technology is crazy. His name is BJ. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. Oh. Got it. You want to go there? I know exactly where that is. It's a shrine near school. Whoa, wait. You can't just go walking out like that. The black suits would spot you in a second. The location BJ pointed out on the map. It's a shrine nearby the school. Oh, the shrine! The shrine from 1944? I can get him there, but I'll have to hide him in something. Um, hide him in a basket. My PE bag. Yeah, this will do the trick. That's too small! A bag given out by the school. It can fit more than it looks. Hmm. What? Maybe he can fit in here too. This robot's too big to fit in this bag. Sorry about the tight fit. Not what the fuck? fuck? You gotta keep your head down. I'll get you to where you need to go. Just hang tight, okay? Seem like we followed. This is it, Toki Saka Shrine. Is it the same shrine? This place has been here forever. It is. A pretty good hiding place too. Now that I think about it, I mean, who would have thought somewhere like this was really a hub of extraterrestrial alien activity? Oh. All the trees are gone, though. Hmm. All right. We're here, BJ. Whoa. What is all this? So bright. Are these holograms? Access code approved. I've never seen anything like this, except in the freaking movies. Wow, this is awesome. Baby. Oh my god, honey. This is completely normal, by place. the way. This is fine. One second we're at the shrine, then we're surrounded by this weird light. And now we're in this place? What the heck happened to this city? It looks like there was a war. Ah, there's more? The government has released a statement at 5.40 p.m. Japan time. Communications with major cities around the world have not yet been restored. It is likely that these cities have also come under attack by the same unknown enemy that has besieged Japan. Domestically, multiple locales are reporting serious damages. 
Currently, the unknown enemy has made landfall, swarming a large area across the bay. They are now thought to be headed in the direction of Kasumicho in Sakura Ward. That was news footage. Wait, no. That's near our school. Is this... Are we in my town? What? I need to know more. It's hard to see here, but we have to understand. What can only be described as monsters have descended upon our town. It's quite difficult to comprehend. I see five, six, seven. No, there's more every time I look. What are they? Some say we are finally witnessing a takeover of aliens from space. Could this really be the end of humanity? Yep. The species not lived to see past 2064. They're nearly upon us. To all of you watching, good luck. So is that the year? 2064. We're in the future? 80 years to be exact. This can't be real. Can it? Hey, where are you going? Hmm, okay. What? What are those? A monstrous tripod higher than my houses. Striding over the young pine trees and smashing them aside in its career. A walking engine of glittering metal. Striding now across the heather. The war of the worlds. I think I know what they are. What the fuck? Those things do have one extra leg, but just like the tripods weapons used by aliens to invade earth and now they're destroying my home is this really happening was earth really attacked by aliens do they want to destroy humanity bj why why did we come here Search memory yeah i know but what is that you're looking for this? Sentinel. Sentinel number 17. I thought this game was called 13 Sentinels and there's like 19 of them? What kind of bullshit? One updated. Oh god. Oh no. Beginning of the end. Wait, in three more episodes, I'm gonna end the game already? How am I doing, Miracoon? Anything I'm screwing up here? Doing just fine, Natsuno san. You're a natural. This was his last gift to me. I gotta do this right so I don't let him down. Don't we have a bunch of bad guys everywhere already? Should Wait, bad guy? Wait. Wait, all the way out here? Our sentinels were designed chiefly for long range attacks. Um. Oh, jeez, I'm a mess. Uh, keep going. I was taught that my primary tactic should be long distance annihilation. Never give them a chance to close in. So if they do get too close, that's bad news? Well, we've got electromagnetic battering ramps for both arms in case of close quarters combat. But we can't let them surround us. I don't know if we can fight our way out of that. Okay. Got it. Warning. Dival signatures approaching. Preparing to intercept. Initiate Wait, hold on. Analysis. They're coming. Miracle, they're coming. What do we do? Should we shoot? Wait, now we have the year 2064. Get a clear look at the opposing forces. The 
enemy may have more numbers than us, but we can hit them all in one fell swoop. Mirakun, I'm... I'm kinda shook up here. We'll be okay. We can use the electromagnetic rounds. Shake them up instead. Look, Mirakun! They're coming at us in one straight line! Oh, this is fine. I'm in the perfect position. All right, pierce through many uh, packs of kaiju straight ahead with main battery heavy rail gun. Ooh. Not throwing away my shot. Holy shit! Leave it to me. Did I get it? Enemy signal terminated. That was awesome. You got them all in one shot. That electromagnetic round has the power of a salvo from 46 centimeter battleship mounted cannons. But a weapon that powerful comes with high energy costs and high risks to match. If you don't use it carefully, you might end up out of power at the worst possible moment. Uh, roger that. Let's go, Noctino. All right, let's do it. would have been too easy otherwise Good. looks like they're deploying wide-range attackers of their own let me check the sentinels data maybe we have a dossier in here somewhere there we go a surface wrecker colloquially called a twin tail is that all we have hmm. it's coming miracoon do we attack wait i think we have new enemies inbound Actually, isn't that... Sentinels number 13 and 15. Are they friendly? Sentinel 13! We're activating each... Hey, Just our friends. What? Jurokun? You're in a Sentinel too? It is you, Nachan. We're here to help. No way. You too, Iori? What's going on? Thank you, Jurokun. I couldn't have asked for better support. We have to defend the terminal until the systems activate. Nachan, let's do this together. Uh, second generation model Fusaka pilots come with support units, which are armaments that can be positioned. Each support unit automatically takes action until the enemies are destroyed. <clears throat> oh, that's what the sentry gun was. I remember. Wait. Oh, there we go. Uh, intercepting missiles and enemies like Twin Tails attack from a distance using missiles. Missiles can be evaded by moving or intercepted with attacks. Deal with them in a way that best suits the situation. Oh shit, those missiles though. Focus. Oh fuck. I wish I could get all of them. Is this even possible? Am I too low to the ground?
Yeah, the missiles are a problem. All right, so let's get rid of the missiles. Here we go. Take that. Got one. I have a focus. <laughs> We're fine. So that's just the Okay, wait. Uh, hold on. What can I do? Okay. Am I an enemy no. Where are they? We're fine, don't worry. They don't stand a chance. Did I get it? Threat suppressed. Yeah. What do I do? Stunner, like, uh, Holt's movement and drops aerial kaiju. Whoa! Oh, this is so cool. I kind of want to, uh, play with it, if I can. I want to play with it. Five. <laughs> but that's not the point. Okay, so... They can't do anything. So those are okay. Uh, these are those cannons. This is this cannon. All right, die. Not enough damage. This is Ace. That barely made it, holy shit. I could have used the meta gauge. I forgot about that already. Damn it. It's okay. Yes. Oh, new girl, Megumi Yaku Shiji story. Oh god. There are so many characters. usually a good shortcut, but it is so gross today. Muddy as heck. My shoes are soaked. Mm. Come on! I'm already covered in mud. No point going back now. Okay. So... Why is everything on the fort? Why is shit happening every 40 years? That seems too specific. What's up? You look bummed. 
It's nothing. Thinking about how no one talks to you again. Is that what's got you down? It's just because you're so quiet, Megami. People take that as you thinking you're better than them. Or that you're cold and distant. Not sure which is worse. They just need to get to know the real Megami. The one who's a hopeless romantic. And a cool, laid-back girl just like everyone else. Maybe then they'd have an easier time talking to you. Hey, you should try posting videos online like me. Don't do it. it. really help you come out of your shell. It's a trap. I think I'll pass. <laughs> come on. No point in going back. You really are great at singing, Tommy. You watched my Inaba rabbit video? Mm -hmm. I never knew you were so talented. <laughs> well, you're in luck. I'm posting a new one when I get home. <laughs> hmm? What is it? Did you see that? There was a light. I saw it in the water. Probably just a car headlight. Oh. Twenty-four, so I can see a sentinel. <laughs> yeah, you do that. Could it be a piece of an airplane? No, that's not it. But what then? Oh, this is wild. I gotta document this. Oh no, where'd my phone go? Yeah, you gotta take videos. What are you doing? You all right? Does he look all right? Where am I? No. When am I? When? 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 Uh, Twenty. Well, you went forty years into the future. No. The year. What year is it right now? Oh, it's twenty twenty-four. Twenty twenty-four. I must have been forcefully shifted here. What? The front line's been broken. It's over. It's all over. I got a game over? Um, should I call an ambulance? So basically, I got a game over oh, and then I was sent back in time to oh, fix my shit. Um, I'm just from the school nearby. Got it. No. Then that means this place is next. I'm Juro Izumi. Oh, now you're a Jiro Izumi. This timeline, they're coming. Ah, uh, this is fine. Nothing bad's ever gonna happen. Nine, back to 1985. Half a year later. Wait, huh? Cat, cat. A cat. Aww. How is this a half a year so later? Fluffy. I don't understand. Come here, Fluffy.
How did that how did that make sense? Oh, Uba. You, all right? you look a little lost. I was just thinking. In 1985, the West Building doesn't even exist yet. I can't have... What? Twenty twenty five. Sure. Oh, I needed to see you just one last time. One last time? They're coming. And number thirteen is the only one that can still fight. I have to go. N no, you can't. They won't let you. Taking back that robot, trying to fight by yourself. It's not a good plan, Juro. You couldn't defeat them even with all your friends. It's true. I don't know if I'll be able to protect you all. But I can't do nothing. But you haven't even recovered yet. Megami, I really am grateful to you. So, this is goodbye? Uh, I hope that it's not, but... Megami, this is bad. Uh, Juro Izumi. They're here, just like you said they would be. And now monsters are flooding the port in droves. <sighs> right. Megami, tell me. I've told a woman named Morimura about you. When the time comes, you must listen to what she says. Listen to Booba. Got it. I can do that. Yakushiji-san? My Joy-Con drift made that seem realistic. I was drifting to the right and I thought that we were just gasping and walking away. I, it seemed appropriate and then I realized that it was my Joy-Con drifting. It's fine. I need you to stay focused. <laughs> Miss Morimura, how is Shiro doing? You must forget about Juro Izumi. The Juro you knew no longer exists. There was nothing else we could do. <gasps> From now on, you cannot go near him. But... It's for his own good. But Booba. No, wait! <gasps> Juro! Huh? This is the school you attend. It is? How about we head back to the nurse's office now? It's important to take your medicine, you know. Stop. You have to stay away. He's Juro Karabe now. Not Juro Izumi. I don't understand. He is not the same person. Giving him a new identity was the only way to save him. That can't be possible. It was the only way. I'm sure he would agree it had to be done. So for now, you need to stay away. At this point, he is still very unstable. Trust me, you're doing this for him. Okay. from before i'm a cat not a kitty oh uh, what all right settle down no need to make a scene people are gonna start to think you're crazy that, i'm not crazy just... talk to me fluffy fluffy i wasn't imagining it this cat is talking to me but he's not a kitty, he's a cat. Cats can't talk. You might want to try thinking before you speak. 
Aren't you supposed to be smart, Megumi Yakushiji? How do you wow. know my name? Sassy cat. I know everything about you. That's not creepy at all. You're the one who called me, after all. I... did? Yes. And now I'm here to grant you your wish. Your wish to save Juro Izumi. You are an evil cat. I'm supposed <laughs> to be listening like to the nurse, her. not you. So yeah, I can do it. I can get his memories back. Don't believe me? Oh, of course you wouldn't. It does sound too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, I don't go around granting wishes for free. In exchange, I need you to do something for me. After you agree to a binding contract, that is. Oh, that's not good. You really have to think about. Come on, it'll be easy. No experience necessary. That's us. Can we say and you'll no? Save Juro. Seems like your best option. Hmm. Assuming this isn't a dream or a hallucination. Or some kind of cruel joke. What exactly would I need to do for you? I come from another world. One that was destroyed. Destroyed by a relic of an ancient civilization. It is called the Dimos Code. Oh. It spreads like a nasty curse and has begun to infect this world, too. I must find all the codes and set things right again. That is my mission. And the no big deal, Jobby, you get to do. The cat has such a weird voice. If it's so easy, why don't you just do it yourself? You're not serious, are you? In case you haven't noticed, I'm a cat. Yes, you, really you are. You leave the fate of the world to a cat? <laughs> I don't even have thumbs. If I screw up, you're dead too. <laughs> you're only damning yourself if you refuse. Uh, de de uh, decline. If I told anyone about this, they'd laugh and call me crazy. I'm sorry, but this all just seems so impossible. There's nothing impossible about it. Oh, he mad. <sighs> all right, I'll give you some time to think about it. I suppose it's a good thing you're skeptical. Instead of some idiot who believes everything she hears. Why, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Make no mistake. You will accept my contract. No! It's just a matter of time. No! Not gonna accept it. If it really is true, and there is a way to bring back Juro, then I'd make a deal with the devil if I had to. No! You don't need to do that, actually. <laughs> My sentinel can't take much more of this. It's like that thing has a wall protecting it. How am I supposed to damage it? Judging by the big crane, that one's probably a high quad. Tommy, why are you... What are you so surprised about? This is my sentinel, isn't it? Seriously, Megumi, I wish you'd just told me. I have to apologize. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't be... Look, there's only one thing I want an apology for. I got that switch because you shot me, right? Because, like, did you have to put it on my back? I'm going to give myself a cramp swiping that thing. But you gotta fall back, Megumi. Your sentinel's at its limit. I'll handle this. No, Tony. We'll fight together. Come on, dork. What's the point of fighting together if it gets you killed? You gonna be done? Am I starting or off like dead? I have I have a sliver of yeah. HP. You're right. Oh, I'm fine, never mind. Wait a sec. I get it now. This thing's the cockpit of my sentinel. You charged out first all thumping your chest and it took you this long to get here? 
the train stopped. I got kind of lost in the crowd. But I got this now, Kizaragi. You can hang back where it's safer, okay? I just got here, you moron. I'm not going anywhere. Fine, whatever. Just tell me which of these bozos I gotta trash. The one with four legs, right in front of you. Tomy Sentinel won't be much good against it. But your first generation Sentinel is perfect for close combat. Okay. This is fine. Oh, that's a lot of health. I'm fine. That did like no damage. Demolish her blade? Whoa. <laughs> okay, leap attack. Too far. Too far. Would I go from the back? Yeah. Okay. Die already. Oh! That's what you get. The damage. Did they just get reinforcements? We've got two more threats incoming. Fine by me. I was just thinking I was running out of ass to kick. My sentinel's fixed. I can get back on the field. Please, Tommy. Let me fight with you. And now I'm naked. I'll protect you. Two girls and their robots against the world. You know, we could record this and be set for life. Oh my god. We gotta make sure to record this for the vlog. We gotta make sure we make it blow up on TikTok. Uh, any pilots on the field can easily be killed by a mere explosion. Ooh, okay. We must win. Flare torpedo. That's a big range. Wait, uh, nullifying attacks from Kaiju. Oh, okay. It's interesting. shit in my way. I don't know if that's a good thing to do. Uh, maybe I just... What's my next 
I don't want to be. Okay. What now? Okay. Is there a way around this guy? Okay. If we go like, boo. Oh, that's my limit. No. Still does a lot of damage. Alright, let's try this again. Oh god, this is probably not a great idea. Who cares? Come on. Get back! There it goes. Get back! This could get us. Jedi will not lose. Take that. What do I do? This is cool. I really like this kind of battle system a lot. It's like a modern day tactics kind of vibe to it. Okay, good. Never mind. I I was okay. It's fine. We must win. Yes. They all vanished. What just happened? Aegis activation confirmed. That area is now secure. Hey, he's that second year. Renya Goto. He's from the future. And further into the future than me. Megami. We're done with all this fighting. We should go get some crepes. Yeah! No place near school. Yeah. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Yakushiji. Crepes sound so good. Deep forces have changed course. We won. Gaming! Let's go. Oh, this guy, Amiguchi. Hey, the gays, let's go. Yo. All right, we're back in 1985. That's the gang from Curry High. What's going on there? Hey, Wajima. Trying to get a date? No. <laughs> Amiguchi. Got nothing to do with you. Get out of here. Threatening a girl? Not a good look, man. You think these chumps are a threat to me? Really? Just another pack of posers. What? Gotta call in your punk friends to take me on? He ain't with us. Wajima from Curry High. You stay out of this. Sorry, but you know I'm always on the lady's side. You think she's gonna fall for that shit? That's Takamiya from Suzu High. Wait, the gang leader? The one who beat all you guys up? No way. I only trashed three of these clowns. Now it's payback time. Can't let some chick get away with disrespecting us. We got a reputation. <laughs> Takamiya. Did I write down her name? I don't think I did, but maybe she's not important. It's How fine. How you doing? The name's Amiguchi. Back off, lover boy. <laughs> Still running that mouth. Now come on. Bad move. Hey, cut that out. Last time I'm gonna say it, Amiguchi. 
walk away. Seriously, just news flash, buddy. I can't walk away from a cutie in trouble. Oh, God, Gucci. Time to go. Follow me. Oh, geez, we run away on a fucking motorcycle. Hey, you gonna be okay after that? What do you mean? My ego took a blow. You, my man, you know that guy's an amateur boxer, right? My days are numbered, huh? Well, do I get a last wish, Takamiya-san? Because I gotta say, I'd love to know your first name. Uh, does this guy hear himself? <laughs> what? Sorry, you're gonna have to speak up. It's Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. I'm Shu Emiguchi from Sakura. Huh? What's up? That's where I'm transferring to. You're kidding. Well, hey, that means it's gotta be destiny. Oh, no. You wanna go get a drink somewhere? It's destiny. You can just let me off. I got places to be. Well, I'll drive you. I'll take the train. Really, it's fine. Where am I headed? Take a hint, man. The crosswalk in front of the Shikishima building in Aoi. I know it. Gogyo Street, right? Big commercial district. What? You got a part-time job? Look, you want to make this an interrogation? I'm getting off. Ah. Oh. Okay, you win. I'll save the questions for later. Just hang on tight. We're going full throttle. Ah. Uh. Owie war. Go yo street. Go 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 yo go yo. Well, That's hard to say. Ride, I guess. But your driving sucks, man. Wow. Hey. Uh. You've got a boyfriend? <laughs> Hell no. Oh, cool. That was forward. When do you start school? <laughs> I'm <transferring laughs> next week. Can't wait. Smooth. <laughs> so, uh, you single? You want to not be? Man, she's cute. Bombshell like that, sending those curry guys to the hospital. I've never met anyone like her before. I just might have fallen for her. <laughs> uh. Okay, I spelled his name wrong. Oops. Otherwise known as Tack of Curry High, one of the top dogs in the gang at Nika Curry Industrial School. Industrial School. Okay. <clears throat> Booba. I knew it. That was Ms. Morimura. And this is the Shikishima building. Shikishima Industries. They're the ones who make ships and planes, right? What's our school nurse doing in there? Oh, do I gotta write that down? Shikishima Industries? Nah, I'm not fucking writing it down. It's not important. Judgment Day. That's it for the Type 98 bipeds. Turned out to be pretty useless in close combat. Wish I'd had some arms. Maybe then we'd stand a chance. Yeah, a big metal weaponized punching arm. Would've been great. Hopefully Kisaragi-san and the others managed to escape. As long as they got to the shifter gate, they should be okay. You realize how far we are from that gate? Hello! Too far for us to make it. Don't give up. Hell, oh my god. Can you check that 98 over there? Pop the maintenance hatch. Honey. Not options yet. You really think there's a point <laughs> in fighting anymore? Not fighting. Escaping. They gave her a straight up bubble butt. It was through shifting that we got the 98s into this era. So if I could whistle, I would. It must just get us out of here. <laughs> I'm trying. We've already input the shift coordinates. <laughs> Engage the auto control and switch to manual. Where are 
you going? We're going to need more power if we want to jump. I'll see if we can get it out of the downed 98. A direct feed, huh? Hello, Mom. Looks okay. Basically, everything's operational aside from the legs. <laughs> Forget anyway, cake, she's got the whole bakery. They've taken the last mainframe. <sighs> We've lost. But it's not over yet. Listen, I've got just enough power to send you. As soon as the system's ready, you need to shift. What are you saying? No time left. Can't make it back. Sixteen years ago, I'll be on Sumire Bridge. Find me and tell me everything. Sixteen years ago. Miss Morimura, ultimate waifu. Dang, that's a nice ass apartment. That's definitely not how she usually looks. But I know that was Ms. Morimura. Huh. A giant mecca, a ruined city, and a gorgeous teacher in a cat suit. Jeez. Like a kid's Sheesh, been kid. Too much anime. But man, I still remember how the ground felt under my feet. That felt way too real. Is that an idol on the TV? Uh, did I have the TV on? Kind of late for a show. I feel like I recognize I want this apartment too. Oh, she's that new idol. Been getting big lately. Look at this! What is this balcony? Is that really your bed? You have this amazing space in your apartment and this is your bed? Oh, whatever, actually. I think I would do the same. How'd it turn itself back on? Uh, okay. Is it broken? Okay. Now it's a drama. Late night TV gets weird. I've been looking for you for so long. Please help me. Shu Amiguchi. Uh, holy shit! You're the only one I can turn to, Shukun. What the heck? Is this a hidden camera thing? No. This is no TV show. Shukun, I'm talking to you through the TV. Me. What the fuck? To be continued? What? You just ended there? What the f What? Oh, this is ass! Calm down, Yuki-chan. We've got Kaiju on all sides here. I don't take orders from you. I gotta find Nachan. Wait, something's coming up. It's a sentinel. Number 22? Number 22, advancing. Two aerial models, which means Amiguchi and Takamiya, I presume. Uh, it's just Goto. We're going to have the terminal defend itself. I'll need your help. Screw you, buddy. Wait, so Don't Guta has I never been in a sentinel yet, actually. Gunta, I don't know what I said. Guta? 
I thought I said Guto. 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 Damn it. Guto, we gotta do something now. Glad to hear you're feeling so cooperative. I see things in the air. Are those enemies too? I've confirmed their position. Those are aerial dimos called hunters. Great. We got flyers now? They specialize in aerial mobility, much like our fourth generation sentinels. Melee attacks won't reach them. We can't rely on ground based missiles either. I'm like wondering what things I need to pay attention to in this fucking plot. Like, I don't know how much I need to pay attention to the, like the small details because I can only remember so much. Like, I can only put so much in my memory bank, like sometimes I need to delete files and like I have to decide what's important to remember and what's not. So like, I keep thinking over and over again, should I be paying attention to the fact that there's like fourth generation sentinels and first generation sentinels? Like maybe that can help me with like timey-wimey bullshit. Like oh, this sentinel's first generation, it's newer. So, like I don't know if that's relevant and I, I can't, my brain cannot compute whether that's important or not to like put in the memory bank. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Okay, Just collect the meta chips. They can expand our mech's functions and unlock new weapons. How about you guys handle this tech stuff, and I just kick the shit out of them. Good boy. We all better watch out for her. Okay, let's do this. Holy shit! This looks fun. Come on. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> what now? Leg spike. Okay, we don't want to do that yet, but we will. There's one little fuck over here. Hit confirmed. That easy. Hope I can pull my weight. Oh shit. He's fun. Keep this thing moving. Don't screw with me. Nice. How's that? Give it up. Man, we've got it rough. Stay calm. I can do this. Wait, I want to do. I want to do that. Shit! Damage. So these, oh, they're far. Oh fuck. Okay, never mind. Next move. Number twenty-two, advancing. Here's the plan. Okay. Man. 
Oh shit. That's that. Ah! Oh, never mind. <laughs> the Aegis. Okay, let's do this. 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 Okay, Calm down, she says. Like she wasn't the one raging out a second ago. Man, this is rough. What do you mean this is rough? Ain't nothing bad ever happened. <sighs> oh no! Isn't this the cute guy? Ai Sekigahara. Oh, geez, that's a name. Seki Gahara. All right. So, cute boy. Okay. I don't even think he's that cute. Just all the other characters call him cute, but I don't think he's that cute. All right, we're back in 1985 land. Damn. No way out. Where'd he go? Oh, shit! Wait! You must know who I am, don't you? That's why you've been following me. Of course I do. You can't escape us, eh, Sekigahara? Sekigahara? What do you want from me? Tell me. <sighs> Guess you have a death wish. Wait! It's because... you came from another dimension. Another dimension? Enough with the games. Tell me the truth. <sighs> Resistance is futile. Surrender now, or else. Or prepare to fight. My questions, then talking to you is what's futile. <laughs> Another dimension. Could that really be true? The fuck? Even if it is, there's no way I'd be able to tell. My memories. They're gone. Mm-hmm. Hey, Sekigahara. It's no use. I can't remember anything. He doesn't That's even remember his own name? It has to mean something. I should have two or three shots left if I can serve power. This gun does feel a bit out of the ordinary. You don't even know how you got the gun? From another dimension? What? Boy, you're fucked. Good. He's still alive. I made sure to set it to stun, not kill. Just who are these guys? Check belongings. 
Hmm. Maybe he has something on him that'll give me a clue. Just a pair of handcuffs in his pocket. That's convenient. And some old communication. Oh device. my god. It's huge. <laughs> Now that shit wallet. does look like it's from the 90s. You won't mind if I borrow these, will you? 80s. Oh Jesus, that's fucking huge. Reminds me of like the old um the old house landline phone that we used to have in my my house growing up. It was like this ginormous brick. <laughs> Hello? Like use this here its range looks to be only one or two kilometers that means his little friends can't be too far if i mess with it now they'll know i'm nearby so don't mess with it so what's this black wallet nothing in here but cash oh we took his money put it to good use nice i haven't eaten a thing in two days after all what hang on this is strange eat the designs on these bills look completely different. Oh. There's even a 500 yen bill. Aren't those out of print? And these coins are from back in the Showa era. What? Public transit is too risky. It's likely under surveillance. It might be safest to travel along the river. But before that, I should really get something to eat. Two days ago, I woke up in that alley. My memory's gone. Since then, I've been on the run non-stop. What? Where am I? Oh my god, with our nurse mom. How did I get here? I can't remember anything. What is this? Some kind of gun? Why would I have something like... Is this thing real? Why would I be carrying a weapon? Everything is a complete blank. Why am I here? I don't even remember my own name. Hey, miss. Are you okay? <gasps> He's shocked by looking at her ass. Oh, well, uh, never mind. She's not breathing. What happened here? No use. I still can't remember anything. <sighs> Is it possible that I did this? You killed the mom? Looks like she's bleeding from the abdomen. You killed her! Based on this evidence, the gun appears to be the most likely cause of death. Is it possible this woman and I know each other? All I know is I woke up next to her with a gun in my hand. Was I the one who killed her? This is fine. <clears throat> this is where I woke up. Did I miss anything? Omner, thank you so much for the four months. I appreciate Tails. it. It's highly likely these belong to me. All right. I should see if that woman has anything useful on her. It might serve as a clue to what happened here. There's something in her skirt pocket. A piece of paper with numbers written on it. Are there any other clues around here? There's nothing else here. Oh, I haven't checked my own pockets yet. Let's see. An ID card. A student ID to be specific. A key. But to what? Holy shit. There's an emblem on it. Maybe it's a car key? ID card. This appears to be someone else's student ID. Sakura High School. Class 1B. Uh. Iori Fuyusaka. Fuyusaka. Her face does look familiar, but I can't remember how I know her. It's uncanny, though. Almost like she's important to me in one way or another. The note says 
443-685-3214. I'll remember what that. Mean? A password of some sort? Oral NM C0204 is printed on the label. The bottle's made of plastic. There's nothing inside. It's a student ID from... It appears to belong Iori Fuyus... She has nothing else on. What's this? Someone dropped an envelope here. Could it have something to do with that woman? Whatever's inside seems to have stayed dry. There's nothing written on the envelope. Some documents are inside. There's a note and what looks like a personnel file in such a hero Morimura. Occupation, teacher. There are instructions written on the note. If capture is not possible, <laughs> then shoot to kill. Uh, uh. A note that was included with the files on Morimura. It says, if capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. This is fine. Chihiro Morimura, 31, Sakura High School nurse, a key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. She has. Oops. Chihiro Morimura. There's no doubt about it. That's who this woman is. Well. I killed her. Well, it's all my fault. This is the place. Ah! Let's see what we can find. Someone's coming. I won't be able to talk my way out of this one. I need to get out of here before. Check down this back alley. Oh! They've got me surrounded. I need to hide. What a mess. Where'd that boy run off to? He has a gun. We'd best proceed with caution. We're authorized to use deadly force if necessary. Yes. <laughs> we need to clean this up quickly. If he gets away again, we're in deep shit. Let's contact HQ and tell them we're on it. I'll leave that to you. <laughs> we'll monitor public transit. He can't have gone far. Sounds like I'm the one they're after. And that means... I must be their culprit. Why can't I remember? No time for that now. I can't let myself be captured. At least until I figure this all out for myself. They really just straight up didn't care about her. Kaede River Riverbed. What do I do now? If I don't get my memories back, what'll happen to me? Hey. Hi. Did you need something? You stick out like a sore thumb in this part of town. Get yourself somewhere with lots of people. Oh. Hey, Seki Gahara. Hey, that name doesn't spot it. Apparently belongs to me. An outdated transceiver for communication purposes. It has a very limited range. A fancy leather wall. There are a few bills and no credit cards, though. As long as it's set to stun, it won't kill anybody. But it's strange. Why do I know how to use... Chihiro Morimura, a key member of Shikishima, the one I found. A note that was included. It says, if captured, did I kill her? I'm a murderer. I still don't know how they do it, but they're able to track your general location. Wait, who are you? I'm here to return the package I borrowed from you. A package? Yeah, I left it over there. <gasps> Robot! I don't understand. Do you know me? I'm not here for small talk. Coming here at all was risky enough as it is. Just go get your package. Robot! Girl 
Oracle said this belongs to me? Hello. I can't imagine how seeing this must make you feel. Uh. Forgive me for the theatrics. I didn't have much choice. I'm sure you've noticed by now. My name is A. Sekigahara. I'm you. If everything went according to plan, then I'm talking to myself, but with no memories. Oh! We don't have much time, so I'm only telling you what you need to know. Okay! This is not your world. You're a human from another dimension. Oh! This place you're in right now, your stay here was intended to be temporary. But there was an accident. A very grave one. And now many people are unable to return home. I... Well, you are stuck here as well. But don't give up yet. There's still a way back. Unfortunately, I can't tell you here. You understand now, don't you? If they see this recording, they'll know. So I've hidden the information you need elsewhere. Its location is known only to me. You must find it. And don't get caught. If you do, there'll be no escape. You have to trust me. I only hope you make the right choice. Oh man, this game is a mind fuck. You have lost memories. You have multiples of people. You have time travel and then How dimension I travel. That? Still, I think line up with what I might explode. First things first, I need to get out of here. If what that girl said is true, then I'm not safe here. Oh, geez. Oh, God. I'm fine. Okay. I'm I'm good. I'm good. Commence movement. The scout unit's picking up multiple sentinels. Some are even fighting. Hey Taro, holding up all right? Takatoshi san. I like that guy. It's an honor to fight at your side. Shinonome-kun, you deployed without permission from the Shikishima facility? It's my sentinel, isn't it? Another sentinel is being transmitted close by. Quite a party here. Who art thou? Is an invitation? Eikun! You came too, Sekigahara? And why are you in that sentinel? As long as it's functional, does it matter? I didn't come here for more of Sekigahara's flim flam. I'm going back to the front lines. Wait, stay in position. If any one of us tries to do this alone, we lose any chance we have at victory. Fine, so you call the shots. You're the only one here with command experience. We will split into teams individually prioritizing attack and defense. The assault team will include Sekigahara, Shinonome, Karabe, Hijiyama, Miura, and myself. The rest of you will defend the terminal until Aegis activates. Operation Aegis. We're really doing this, huh? We're short on firepower and time. We'll need every trick, every weapon in our arsenal. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to understand. Activate the Aegis or destroy all the Keiju. Okay. Uh, it's displayed on the top screen. Oh, two minutes. Okay, I can I can do that. Not throwing away my shot. Holy fucking shit. That is a lot of fucks. Leave it to me. Take that. Enemy unit destroyed. I'll make it work.
this is I'm just gonna jump right on these guys. Whee! Uh, I feel like this is a problem I need to take care of sooner rather than later. All right. Easy game, easy game. Uh, there's a big thing over there that I probably should take care of. I feel like down this way is fine. Yeah, they're all over here now. Okay! Did I get it? There's something just so satisfying about blowing shit up all the time. I could get behind this guy. This is oh there are actually little shits here. I don't think so. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. Let's see. Number 12, oh, oh, the next. Right. Guardian. Axe is a decoy. We don't need that. Do I worry about this? I mean, I guess I could. Okay. Wait, anybody's pop is really satisfying. It is! It is quite satisfying. I enjoy it a lot. It explodes and overheats them. Uh, eh. Good. That shield, though, is How's annoying. I want to use this demolisher blade, but... Uh, I can't go very far. Alright, whee! Rail gun. Let's go. go. Uh. Maybe. Nah, I'm not worried about it. Alright, so I, I wanna, like, attack from behind. It's like barely in range. Did I get it? What next? Here it comes. My turn now. No! Uh, demolisher blade. How was that? There we go. Easy game. So this is the last wave, apparently, of the prologue. So now I'm scared what happens from here. 
because this was all the prologue and I'm already fu What? Now you give me this? Three hour prologue? Oh, jeez, kill me. Mode selection unlocked. Play through the story in remembrance, engage in battles and destruction, and review events and lore and out. I want to die. Control the sentinels and face the crisis head on. Walk along fragments of the past through the eyes of the 13 protagonists. Look back on the truths revealed so far. Oh my god. I'm out of the tutorial. Uh... Yay! Protag selection unlocked. Remember in stories diverge based on the actions you take. Seek out new paths to reveal more of the story. Gate locked? What? Victims of poison. Vic poison? What? Now there's poison involved? I wanted to do this guy. I think this guy's my favorite, Hijiyama. And I can't do it. I can't do this guy either. Fuck. Okay, well, I guess we'll start with uh, Mr. Juro um, and explore that. Okay, so. <laughs> Look at this. Luxurious room, a whopping 20 tatami mats in floor space. Oh, ho, ho, this rich fuck. <laughs> Get out of here. Hmm. Oh, well. I feel like this is the most logical way to start. So here we go. Open the flow chart with Y to view the protagonist's story paths. Okay. Can resume a story from events with blue checkpoints. Okay. So classroom after school, and this diverges three ways. What the fuck? Oh my god. Bad news, Juro. Amiguchi's gone missing again. He's at the cafeteria. Are you thinking of crashing his Why not? Okay, so okay, we look here, the classroom. Um, it tells us we need to eavesdrop on Sawatari and the others' conversations. That's it. That's the only um get rid of the sh get rid of Shiba in the classroom or the hallway. reading this would you like to get crepes on our way home I'd oh my home. god i've kind of got somewhere to just got me yuki and all this new album on okay. tape i don't have a cassette player then why'd you oh my it? god i'm gonna regret this this is this is a lot oh i Ooh. forgot i had a flyer and one for the daimos movie mighty kaiju daimos what a sci-fi movie from 1954 oh. having oh, right. what would become a Right. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game co- Shall we go home together? Sorry, I have plans. You too? <laughs> Sorry, Miyoko. Are you just home? I'll go home by myself. We can't go to his place. What if Crap. I annoy Then let him be I gotta annoyed. Get going. I still get to play his games. Hi. See you, Miwa-chan. Later. Bye. Hey, remember the original Daimos movie I mentioned? They're showing it at the theater right now. Want to go see it? 
Isn't that the crappy old theater by Tsutsuji Station? I'd rather rent it on video. Then we can watch it on Amiguchi's big TV. Cheaper, too. Right. There's actually a key for it to be uh, locked. Is that <laughs> this week's yep? Last week was a real cliffhanger. I'm dying to know what happens. Well then, allow me to explain. After all hell breaks loose, the main character just stop right there. One more <laughs> word, and you're going on my shit list. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's an asshole. sleeping it's odd and then she shows up in my dreams i can't help but be a little curious about her hey about fuyasaka san i notice she always leaves during break time and what about it i'm just wondering where she goes all the time judging from what the other girls have been saying she runs off to the nurse's office to take a nap She's sleeping? What? You want to follow her to bed? Hey! Come on, quit it. Okay, it's not the one you were looking for. <laughs> I found a little something else you've been wanting to see. You know, that hardcore foreign movie? Don't make it sound so creepy. It's just a sci-fi flick. I also taped the next episode of that drama series, the one where the alien runs away to Earth. Hmm. Is that the one where he teleports from the UFO to the bridge? Uh, oh, you've seen it already? I don't really remember watching it, but I don't know. Maybe I did. In that movie, an alien's UFO breaks down, so he runs away to take refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. While I was taping that show, I remembered something else. I totally forgot last week. They were airing UFO Wars on TV. I can't believe I missed it. Not UFO Wars. Released in 1977, this was the first in a hit series from the United States. It's a dramatic sci-fi adventure taking place in a galaxy <laughs> far, far away. In a galaxy <laughs> far, far away. how much time passes. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. I actually taped you a full It will never myself. fucking die. Wanna borrow it? Oh, I'm in luck. The quality's not that great though. I recorded it in EP mode. Jeez, get your hands on some better tapes. <laughs> okay, Ben. Didn't you want to go to Amiguchi Kun's house? Whoops. This is no time to be reading comics, huh? Damn right it's not. Let's head to the cafeteria. If we're too slow. Oh, thank you. I'm already having a lot of fun and I'm already massively confused. That's a great start. Keywords are currently held and then keywords already obtained. Keywords not obtained yet. Oh. I see, okay based on that stuff um so i gotta be a little bit more thorough what there's a guy who finds a ton of yaki soba pun <laughs> i'm gonna love this shtick that's great <laughs> Here either, huh? Well, oh, crap. So much for gaming today. Think the girls might know where he is? Maybe they've seen him somewhere. I know you were eavesdropping earlier. You know, Kisaragi and the others. Did they mention him? 
I don't know. Huh? Oh, Jurokun. Hi, Minami-san. Uh... What's up? Well, uh... You know, about that guy. I'm just wondering how long he's planning to stay over. Ah, right. About that. He's got a lot going on, you know. If you could let him stay a bit longer, I'd appreciate it. You're the best. Oh, would you look at the time? I've got to go. Let's talk later, okay? That was so awkward. Who's that chick? Minami-san, my neighbor. My grandma's pretty close with her family. You're looking pretty close yourself. Hey! What are you trying to this... imply? This is a serious issue at home. Yeah. Read the room. I'm supposed to have this free time to myself. <sighs> so much for that. Ever since that day, my life's been turned upside down. I fell asleep. Mmm. Smells good. <sighs> You're up. Dinner's almost ready. Could you get the chopsticks? No. I fell asleep with the TV on. It's going to turn back on. I swear to God, if it does. Okay, so we went to the cafeteria. So this is the timeline we're on now. Issues at home. Oh my God. So you can replay this over and over and over and over and you just always see more stuff. What the fuck? Place them at the table. She probably didn't realize it, but these are matching chopsticks, like for a married couple. <laughs> that only makes me feel even more awkward. She probably these are mat. That don't. Yep. That looks so me. I usually just eat out. Or pick up pastries on my way home. Haven't had a home cooked meal in quite a while. There we go. <laughs> it's like we're newlyweds or something. Okay, no. <laughs> I'm not following that train of thought. I need to come up with a way to kick her out. Oh, we kicking her out now. Dinner's ready. Shall we start? You have bags under your eyes. It's because you stay up late watching movies every night. What? You need to get to bed early. That's bullshit. We're the same age. Stop acting like you're my mom. Besides, I can't fall asleep even if I wanted to. Oh? Why not? Well, because you're here. Me? Have I done something wrong? Come on. We're a boy and a girl <laughs> alone together. Puberty exists. Uh, are you trying to torture me? <laughs> At least he's honest. Hey, uh, we really shouldn't be living together like this. Are you afraid of someone finding out? Well, that's part of it. Anyway, I want you out of here by next month. Oh. If you say so. Someone's here. Hide. Hide? Jeez. Yeah, hide. I can't be seen with you. Where do I? Jiro kun are you home? Minami-san. Oh. Couldn't you have knocked first? 
Come on, your Granny Tamau and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Okay, what's your favor? Oh my god, Juro Kun, I didn't know you cooked. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's this yeah. favor you need? The favor is... Oh, Minami-san. I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? <laughs> You're Yakushiji-san, <laughs> our classmate? Wait, no way. Are you two... Do you need something from him? It's not what it looks like. This is just, you know, Natsuno-san? Oh, come on in. Pardon my interruption. Uh-oh, that guy! So this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kind of complicated, but yeah. Oh, that's the cute guy! Wait, Wait a second! What? I didn't put two and two together. Oh, wait. You're the cute son. guy. How do you know Minami-san? Come on. I know oh. you have a spare room. Just wait. Just stay until your granny's back. How does that make sense? Strange. I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. Hey! Not, the details oh. don't matter. Just let him stay, all right? Thanks. See ya. Uh, I, on my whiteboard, I'm I'm confused. Okay, just so this is straight, this is my level of confusion right now. Um, on, on the whiteboard, I put uh, Kitaro Mira and cute guy in question mark because I, I I still I don't know if they're the same. I I don't I I'm confused, but uh, it's a question mark. I put a question mark, so that means it. I, <laughs> I don't, don't know. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> this is also 1985, right? Okay. This all makes sense, okay? This this whiteboard is going to make total sense by the end of the playthrough. Ain't nothing wrong is going to be on that whiteboard. <sighs> okay, it is, it is, it, this is fine. Anyway, I need to know who you are. Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? <sighs> there goes my simple high school... <laughs> it's gone. Things just keep getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> this is the guy that gave me my memories back. Uh... Freeloaders. Okay. Right. Uh, that guy. So... Uh... We touched his forehead and then we got our memories back and then the Shiba kid was like, Oh, no, oh, not in my house! It was something like that. All right, Karabi's living situation with Megumi is discovered by Minami, so he ends up ha having to accept her request of taking in another lodger. Sure. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, so we have to finish this, whatever this one is. Let's just go to the cafeteria. Can we do that? I thought they said. Uh, Bad news, Juro. Let me guess. He's probably. Thanks for making me cool. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So we can use that. Shoo. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, they're kept throughout the whole thing. Minami-san suddenly showed up and then brought over Miura-kun out of nowhere, as if I didn't have enough problems with Yakushi. I always dreamed of living on my own. So much for that. Oh. Would you like to get crepes on our way home? I'd love to. So, the flow chart... Okay. Okay. But, I've kind of got somewhere to be. Mm, okay. Do you need 
something? Yes, I'm here to uh, eavesdrop. Not really. Sorry. Oh. I just got Miyuki and Abba's new album on tape, but I don't have a cassette player. Then why'd you buy it? Usami-chan, you've been acting strange lately. Are you okay? You seem kind of stressed out. But you're just fine, right? Hey, I'm worried about you. Yuri-chan! Shall we go home together? Sorry, I have plans. You too? Hi, I'm here. Eavesdropping. Sorry, Miwa-chan. It's okay. I'll go home by myself. I'm so awkward. But first, I'll take a peek at amiguchi -kun. Okay, that's a little creepy. If you're looking for him, I just saw him by the vending machines. The break area? Yeah. Crap. I gotta get going. I should head up. See you, Miwa-chan. Later. Bye. There are drink vending machines at the... It's located at the corner. If what Fuyusaka-san said was right, we should be able to find Amiguchi-kun there. Hmm, okay. And then we can say that. Hey, oh, okay. I think I know where Amiguchi-kun is. He's probably outside at the break area. Huh? You mean that place with the vending machines? Let's check it out. Huh. Okay. I like this. This is intriguing. So, hmm. take my school bag. <clears throat> All right, time to leave. If we're too slow, we'll lose him. All right. To the break area. Something different. This game is really pretty. I love this art style a lot. You're not Amaguchi. Oh, you are. <laughs> Look at this kid. Like, I don't remember his hair looking like that. Amaguchi Kun. That guy. Wait, aren't you the the boy? Wait, you're the the, the Sukasa Okino kid that was dressed as Kiroko Doji. Was that that? Kid? I think it was that kid. Could we hang out again today? You got it. Let's see. I'm suddenly Why really thankful for this whiteboard. Time? Wait, Juro's place? No. Don't you have the place to yourself right now? I want to check it out. Oh, come on, bro. Not the time. Minami-san suddenly showed up at my... And then brought up as if I didn't have an... I always dreamed of... So... It's true, my grandma's away visiting relatives. His TV's a piece of junk. Well, right now, I have a guest staying over. Things are a little awkward, so... Sorry. It's just not a good time. Well, all right. Let's go to my place then. Oh! That's my man. Thanks. We're going to his place. Time is money. Let's go already. Gaming. Okay, okay. They're very happy about it. All right, let's go to his house. It's already seven o'clock. <laughs> Gaming! Man, Amiguchi's place is the best. Any game you want to play, he's got it. He really is a rich kid, huh? I'm jealous. I'm a little bit jealous, too. He's got so many new releases on CD. The TV shelf is full of things, too. Looks like laser discs. This is incredible. Hi, I'm just. I can't see. Am I standing? I can't see. I'm standing in front of the TV. I can't 
can't see. <laughs> I can't see. What you gonna do about it, bitch? I can't see. I can't see. You said you wanted a drink, right? You cool with soda? No. Thanks, Ami Gucci Kun. It's getting dark. We should probably go get dinner soon. You're coming, right? My treat. You His treat. For my ramen last time. I feel kind of bad. Then what? You want to call it a day? I can still tag along. I'll just pay for my own food. Damn. <laughs> it means I've got to pay too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep, you do. Oh, crap. Don't talk to me right now. You'll break my concentration. Don't talk to me right now, chat. You'll break my concentration with playing this game. I can barely handle it. One more, okay? I need to try that again. If I die this time, I'll switch with you. Mm-hmm. You dead yet? See. Here. I'll stand in front of you so you die. I can't see. Yeah, I'm trying to make you die. I can't see. <laughs> uh, just one more, okay? I need to try if I die this time. I can't see. I can't see. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of. These are no. Amiguchi Kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the on top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game console. Can I not look at anything else in this apartment? I want to look at everything. But I can't. I can't see. Whine about it some more, bitch! <laughs> Borrowed video. Uh, just one more. Okay, I'm not clicking on you. Oh, did you watch the video? Hey, I'm not gonna ignore a friend's recommendation. Did you already finish it? What did you think? Kind of a campy plot. You've got this mad scientist who loses his real body, so he builds a new body and sets out, bent on revenge. It was interesting, but definitely not for casuals. <laughs> for a B-movie? That just proves it's a masterpiece. Uh, just, I need to try that. If I die this time, uh... I can't see. Whoa. What's up? Just learning something about you. I figured you were only really into Western music. Never thought you'd be into the idol scene. Miyuki Inaba. She's been really getting big lately, hasn't she? I mean, you know how it is. Just got curious. All right, I wrote it down. I had to write down the name. I'm getting hungry. Did you want to just grab dinner and go home? Actually, uh, do you think I could stay a little longer? I'd really appreciate it. Oh. My old man's probably at his mistress's place again, and I'm all by myself here. Stay as long as you want. Thanks. Say, uh, any specific reason you don't want to go home? Well, the person I'm living with is, uh... I can't put the blame on her. I'm the one with the problem. Aww. If I'm around her too long, I might... Huh. Anyhow, wanna get food? I would love to go get food. We're leaving. Hold on, I'm almost done. <laughs> 
We can swing. swing by the video store. Pick up something new to watch. Oh, speaking of, before I forget again, here you go. Is that the sequel to that sci-fi flick? All right, let's check it out when we get back. We can watch it together. I'm gonna have to pass. Oh, not in the mood for horror? That's not it. <sighs> Sorry, it's just... I think I've been watching too many movies lately. I'm getting kind of scared. I keep having weird dreams. Again? Terrible dream. Did you have another crazy dream? What happened in it? In the dream, I... I went insane. <laughs> I killed everyone around me. This is fine. Including Fuyusaka-san. And you. Uh. Yakushiji, too. So now I feel anxious whenever she's around. Uh, I'm scared I might end up actually killing her. It's fine. Izumi-san, stop, please. You killed everyone. How could you do such a thing? You... You came to the future for this? Whatever happened to protecting us? Ida, we had it all wrong. The true cause of this disaster was you. What? It's your nano machines. You all have them. That's what's calling the Daimos here. As long as you kids are alive, the hordes will keep on coming until they've destroyed what? all time and space. You're lying. I'm sorry. Oh. This is the only way. No, no. I'm sorry, Yakushiji. The pain will only last for a moment. It's too late to back out now. I must kill my doubts and finish the job. In order to escape from this eternal cage, it must be done. The cause of this was us? You're persistent, Yida. Don't worry. I'll put you out of your misery. Oh! Okay. My god. What have you done, Jiro? Morimura-san. Where's the wound? Let me see it. This was all for you, Mori Mora. We did it for the booba. Okay, what? Uh, okay. Hmm. I feel like I gotta keep going. I, I gotta keep going. Like, there's no other solution. So... But you can't jump. You can only jump to that. Okay. Hmm. What do I want to do? Um... I guess we'll do that, maybe. Bad news, Jiro. Let me guess. I think he's... Thanks for making my life easy. Cool. Let's grab our stuff. Oh, yeah. Let's almost forgot. Turn. I never finished reading this. Patience, Jura. I'll let you borrow it when I'm done. Give it to me now! Minami-san's and then brought over me as if I did. I always dreamed of living on my... So... Can I just leave? Don't just leave me here. Ah, fuck. Right. 
Okay, I remember now. The first thing we did was get the stack of papers, and then we were able to ditch him, and then we were with the nurse alone. This guy is sus. You're weird, dude. We've got to get to the. If we're too slow, we'll. Oh, Krabikun, do you have a minute? And what was that? Getting real cozy. It's not like that. Krabikun, over here. Okay. Oh, this is awkward. If I go talk to her, Shibakun will never let me hear the end of it. I'm going to talk to her. Hey, if we're going to the schoolyard, let's use the others. I'm I'm I, I'm talking to Iori actually. It's too hard to talk to her with Shibakun. Or... How do I get rid of him? Um. Hey. We've got to get to the break if we're too slow. was awful. I shot so like Fuyusaka's. I want I need the 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 It's too hard to talk to her with Hey, hey. Um so maybe uh uh Never mind. No! No! We've got to get to the if we're too slow. Damn it. All right, so we what if we don't hang out at the house? Oh. My favorite drink is sold out. That's a shame. Can we talk to this kid? And we can't go back. Okay. It says it's out of change. Never seen that before. That's lame. I can't look in the trash can. <laughs> hey, Karabikun. Are we on for today? Uh, I've got somewhere to be. Uh, well, all right. Okay. What a bummer. After all that, I think I'm gonna cry. What a bummer. After all that. Sorry, man. No, I'm sorry for asking all the time. Oh. What a bummer. After all that. Now I feel bad. Sorry, man. No. Can we not talk to this person? That. They're just being super suspiciously. Just go home. I, I want to talk to that person, but we can't. Hi, Dom. To be continued. That's just it. That's the end of it. Daily life. Okay. We learned nothing. But I cleared something in the flow chart. So that makes me feel better. I'm guessing that's what that ending is, too. Okay. So, in order to get rid of Shiba, I need the stack of papers. Or something to that effect. Okay. Alright, let's try to get rid of Shiba. I'll figure out a way. Bad news, Jura. Let me get Shut up! Thanks for making my cool. Let's grab I just got me Yuki and Abba's new album on tape. I don't have a cassette player. Oh, the papers. Miss Morimura forgot them. Haha! -ha, I got the stack of papers this time. I'd love to, but I've kind of so I think idea. that's what I needed to. Okay. Mm, okay. Patience. I'll let you borrow it. Do you need? Uh, I don't need really. anything. Don't worry about it. Usami-chan, you've been acting strange lately. Are you okay? You seem Whoop. kind of Just knocked out. over my water. But you're just fine, right? Hey, I'm worried about you. Iori-chan! Shall we go home 
together? Sorry. I have you too. Sorry. And it's okay. But first... Okay, that's a little creepy. If you're looking for him, I just saw him by the vending machines. The break? Yeah. Crap. So, I okay, I can just take my school bag and ditch. I should head out too. See you, Mila Chan. Don't just leave Later. me here. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. Seems there might be two different ways to get rid of him. Wait, where's the girl? Oh, hi. Churro. Hi. You'll be home for dinner, right? Oh. I'll cook something for We're you. in public, honey. Hey, watch what you're saying. We're still at school, and Shibakun's here. What are you doing? It's too hard to talk to her with Sh Sorry, Shibakun. I have to drop off these papers. Should have told me. Well, just meet me at the front gate when you're done. In the meantime, I'll. Wait, wait, wait! Stop! What's wrong? For tonight, I'm thinking hamburg steak, your favorite. <laughs> Knock it off! If people find out we're living together, we'll be expelled from school. Hmm, is that so? Well, I do mind. Oh, I don't so mind please. getting expelled. Sorry, sorry. It's our secret, I know. I'll be a little more discreet. <sighs> Don't stay out. I'll be waiting for you. <sighs> Jeez. It feels awkward going home like this. I'm gonna be restless all night. We're just teenagers. We can't be living together already. <sighs> what is she thinking? Just showing up at my place and treating me like this? Oh. Sure. That's strange. The front door was unlocked. Uh. I hope there wasn't a break in. Not. That's not a good sign. Huh? You oh, this is a flashback. You know my school, right? To when she came in. Okay. I think we're in the same. What? <gasps> It's been 40 years. I miss your touch. What? Hold on, back up. What are you doing in my house? I'll be renting a room starting today. My name is Megumi Yakushiji. Hello there. You're joking, right? I spoke with your landlord, Tamao Karabe. She gave me this rental agreement. My grandma? I've already moved in my furniture. Jeez. I mean, yeah, there was an empty room. And she said she was planning to rent it out, but I didn't expect it to be a girl from school. <sighs> what were you thinking, Grandma? <sighs> There's no way. I can't do this. Grandma's going to be out this whole month. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That means it's just the two of us here. If the school finds out, we're going to be expelled. Well... That wouldn't be so bad. What? <laughs> anyway, I need to get started on dinner. As thanks for letting me stay with you, I'll be taking care of your meals. I hope you like it. Hey, wait! Ah! She hugged me and said it's been 40 years. What? Oh, God! Hi. Huh? Miss Morimura. What's the matter? You seem deeply concerned. Hi. Whoa. So we found the option to talk to the other girl, Iori. And then there's a third option. Oh my god, this is insane. That girl. She always stands a little too close to me. It's awkward. I get really self-conscious all the time. How am I supposed to interact with her? Good question. You forgot these again. Oh my! Sorry for the trouble. I do appreciate it. Thank you, Kurabe-kun. Well, that saves me a trip. Now, 
I wonder if Shibakun was able to find Amiguchi kun. Do we really want to go back? What do you plan to do? Yakushiji. I've gotten permission from Morimura. I see. Even if that's the case, it isn't looking good. There's an issue with Juro's condition. We can't let it continue as is. You still plan on using him, don't you? You can't. I won't let you. Please, let him be free of the Sentinel. As of now, he's the only one who can fight. I can't promise anything. I recognize the position you're in. You harbor feelings for him, correct? But you must understand that he is no longer the Izumi you knew. Izumi? He is Juro Kurabe. You would do well to consider him an entirely different person. The new personality is not stable. Don't disregard the danger this may put you in. Juro will recover. I'll make sure of it. Even if we erase the personality of Juro Kurabe... What? It would be a futile effort, as I've already explained. Izumi's memory is gone. There is nothing left. You're a difficult one. This is for your own good. Just let me be. Izumi? Haven't I heard that name before? I think Shinonome Senpai called me that. Oh, and I saw it at the nurse. There was a document labeled Juro Izumi. You're a difficult one. This is for your own good. Karabe. Juro. How long have you been listening? <clears throat> what was that about? Nothing? Who is he? Uh, I'll cook one of your favorite meals tonight. Oh, come on. So please, come right home, okay? No eating out. I'm a different person? Juro Izumi? That's ridiculous. And yet, why do I have this sinking feeling? It's like the one Yakushiji has feelings for isn't me. It's Izumi. Awkward. Mm -hmm. I want to. I, I want to have the other girl now. I feel like this is not how I'm supposed to play the game, but I'm doing it anyway. The papers. Miss Morimura. Alright, take the school bag and then leave right away. Don't just leave me. I'm leaving you here, Ben. Where's the girl? Hey, if we're going to the schoolyard, let's use the other yeah, stairway. I will. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh! Waifu! Oh, Kura, do you have a minute? Yeah, I have a minute. Man, we're getting real cozy with it's not like that. Okay, uh, you need to fuck off. Sorry, Shiva Kun. I have to drop off these papers. You should have told me soon, or we'll just meet me at the front. In the meantime, I'll. All right. Whammon. Karabe kun, over here. Izumi, haven't I heard that name? I think Shino. No oh, there was a document. That wasn't it. What's going on, Fuyusaka-san? Well, um, you know that dream you were telling me about? The truth is, it's... real. 
It actually happened. What? What do you mean? What was that dream about again? Uh, you don't remember? You just mentioned it again last week. You know, the one about the shootout? Shootout? Something about taking refuge in a harbor, but you ended up getting shot and captured. I was the only one who managed to escape. Oh, yeah. In order to prevent killer robots from being invented, a factory got blown up, right? You remember now? I didn't know you were into action movies. That's the plot of Exterminator 2, right? <laughs> I almost forgot. <sighs> so you don't remember after all? Of course I do. That movie is a masterpiece. I'm not talking about a movie. This is something that actually happened. And it wasn't just a dream, either. Mm. Mm. Kurabi-kun, it wasn't. What about this one? Is it real, too? If the Daimo showed up in real life, I don't know. I think it'd be pretty awesome. Oh, no, it'd be pretty awesome. You'll be seeing plenty of them soon. Oh. Huh? Daimos is the general name for them, but there are many different types. Some as big as a truck, some bigger than a whole building. That series is really cool. It featured all kinds of different kaiju. So, like, our dreams are becoming reality? This is if weird. Uh, like, much, the books and... You should check out this drama series. What's it about? I don't understand. It's an episodic show where the story plays out in different ways each time. In this one, an alien seeks refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. You've never seen it before? That was a real event. It took place on Sumire Bridge in the year 2089. Oh, God. Now that you mention it, that scene did look like it was shot at Sumire Bridge. I was the only one there. You never made it, Kurabe-kun. No, that's not true. I was there. You and I were transmitted together. Wait, what? what? How do you remember that? Wait, did you just suddenly remember? What the fuck was that about? Kurabe-kun, it was... Does that mean UFO Wars is real too? There is a UFO. It's beneath us. Oh. Beneath no us. Way. It's just like the movie, isn't it? We're going to ride that UFO and fight off enemies. No. That's what the Sentinels are for. Sentinels? Giant robots. They were created to defeat the Kaiju. Oh. Why does she speak so casually? I feel like that shouldn't happen. You're so interesting, Fuyusaka-san. Don't you already know all this? The whiteboard. The whiteboard's already fucked, it. man. Remember when we were cleaning up the science room? You said you saw a shootout from the future in your dreams. Cleaning up the science room? Never mind. Sorry to bother you. No! Now that I think about it... I've handed you the key. Be sure not to misplace it. Renya Goto, second year. Popular with all the ladies. Oh, what? Now he's here? That's oh, that's him. Oh. When you're done cleaning... Be sure to that was up. him talking then to her before. To oh. Understood? Yes. Then if you'll excuse me. Sorry for the trouble. Okay. Okay, there's not much left to do. Let's get this over with. I'll wash the equipment over there. Could you put the beakers back on the shelf? Okay. You want me to put the beakers back oh, on the shelf? Man. Cleaning duty sucks ass. Shiba Kun, stop complaining and get to work. Did you say something? You were mumbling. Speak clearly, please. Just. It's Saturday. 
Kind of sucks to be doing cleaning duty. Rules are rules. Just deal with it, okay? Goto-senpai is so mature. It's hard to believe he's just a high schooler like me. He ain't. Isn't Goto-senpai responsible? No wonder he's so popular. Oh. Oh, boy. Cleaning is just so boring. Whine about it some more. Where should I put this? Speakers go in the big cabinet in the back. Okay. Is that here? Okay. Guess it goes in here. I cleaned. Is there more? No. Holy shit. So what's This flow chart is becoming crazy. This one too. That's all of them. I did it. Hey. Finished with the beakers? Yeah. All that's left now is sweeping up. <clears throat> what is it? gotten into you is there something on my face <laughs> <laughs> sorry i was just thinking about the woman from my dream last night i think it was you fuyusaka san me you were dressed in all black strong commanding and honestly pretty attractive <laughs> uh, you were just talking about the dream right <laughs> what happened in it it's kind of embarrassing to talk about Talk about it. The apocalypse was coming. To prevent it, we had to go back in time and blow up some sort of facility. But that got us in some trouble. Thanks to the bombing, the cops came after us. It came down to a shootout, and the two of us got separated. Oh, so I was a criminal. Well, kind of. It was a just cause. Uh-huh. Well, that does sound exciting. I'm curious to hear how it ends. Oh, yeah? I can- You die! Going. Were you shot? Show me. It's nothing. I had a misstep, too. I failed to kill one of the researchers. The deed is done, though. The entire facility's been destroyed. We did good. The Interstellar Development Project was sent back to square one. Do you think we've changed the future? Sure hope so. If not, then we'll have killed all those innocents for nothing. I'd like to believe they haven't died in vain. <laughs> A patrol boat. They're onto us. I'll handle this. You go on ahead. This wasn't part of the plan. I can barely walk. So what? You want me to abandon you here? You just need to make it through today. Remember. Just go. To be continued. What? No, don't just end there. Are you kidding? A movie scene, question mark. Oh, my God. I want to die. I feel like the more I uncover in these stupid ass flow charts in this game, the more confused I fucking get every time. Bad news. Shut up. Thanks for making cool. Papers. Miss Morgan. Usami chan. Hey, bitch. I got a stack of papers. Leave. Sorry, Shiba Cook. I have to drop off the again. We'll just meet me at the in the meantime. Uh... Would you like to get crepes on our way home? I'd love to, but I've kind of got somewhere to be. Mm. 
I don't know who to hang out with now. I got rid of Sheba, and I don't know what to do with my life now. I gotta talk to somebody. Uh, I already got those two. I need to stay in here or go out. I should head out too. Hey, you do you want to hang out? Later. Bye. Hey, do you want to hang out? Wait, I need to hang out with somebody. Hey. I ha I need friends. Anybody wanna hang out? Okay, I have no friends, that's just it. The nurse's office is on the opposites. I should use the other stairs. Maybe I just go to the nurse's office. Oh. Wait, wait, that option. She's sleeping? Wait, who's sleeping? Guess hey, we did it! Okay. Morimura's not here. Oh, Sheena Nome. I don't think I wrote that name down. Shino Nome, Senpai. Uh, he's a Mikun? Oh, that's awkward. I'm so glad you're safe. Uh, I heard terrible things. Uh, so I thought. Okay, well, this just got mega awkward. Uh, I can explain. Senpai, my name is Kurabe. Juro Kurabe. That's right. So you know him too, Juro Izumi? Uh, Juro Izumi is you. But right now, you've been given a different personality. Given? By who? The two of us lost our memories after a certain incident. We suffered serious mental trauma. Especially you. I heard that you had it worst of all. But I'm not so well off either. My memories keep disappearing. I'm not sure if I'll even remember this conversation. Uh... What was this incident? It happened in the future. But you received medical treatment here, back in the past. The future? No way. It's true. And you're Juro Izumi. Huh. So, let me get this straight. Juro Izumi came from the future. He lost his memories due to some incident. And the damage was so bad, he needed a whole new personality. That sounds simple. That's how he became... me. Juro Kurabe. I hope you guys are all it's taking so notes. To believe. But if it's true... That would explain why I kept feeling like something was off. All right. Yep. Totally makes sense. I have it all figured out. This is crazy. Honestly, it's really hard for me to believe. I don't blame you. Yeah, you're supposed to take notes. This is crazy. Honestly, it's... I don't blame you. The 
since she's not around, I'll just leave the surveys on her desk. I'm sure she'll see them when she gets back. Oh. We found, like, a, a, a thing. How did we do that? gone. Last time, she had documents on Juro Izumi here. I guess she put them away. This is crazy. Honestly, it's... I don't blame Whoa, you're still here? Shibakun, what's up? I couldn't find Amiguchi any. I thought I'd come look... Are you all right? No, I'm not. And neither are you. I'm fine. I'm fine. There's no problems. Nothing. Well, okay, let's call it a day and go. Well, let's come. Mm. Uh, freaking Amiguchi. You're not getting away from me tomorrow. To be continued. Hmm. We did it! We got all of the flow chart except for this one which uh i don't uh, you know what i don't feel like getting it that's gonna really bug me though uh <laughs> uh, uh i uh so i can't do the rest of juro now Protagonist with story progress at 30% or over 9. Oh. I'm currently only at 1. That's great. Oh god, there is so much to this game. So you discover the game by going through time different timelines of different things that happen or could happen. I am so fucked up. I am very fucked up right now. I'm not okay. You know what? I think I'm just... I'm not okay. Should I just do them in order? I could just, like, literally go in order and get as much story from these characters as I can. You know what? It's a shame. I want to do, uh, Hijiyama. <laughs> Dang it. This sucks! Although the presentation of the game is great! Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again! I don't see it. Must have taken off already. After this, you wanted to go to the record store. Yes! You must really want that new idol group's out. Well, you know the lead vocalist? He looks a bit like Amikuchi kun. So what? <laughs> Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Being in love is wonderful. About Amikuchi kun, I heard he's not joining the basketball team. What a shame. He's so good at it. Back in grade school, he played soccer. But one day, he just got bored and quit. You guys knew each other back then? Yeah, in fourth grade. Nachan too. We were in the same class. Okay. Let's see. Now where were we? Hmm. Even just watching from afar. Are you sending your love letter? I don't know. My 
my conscience said bad luck this week, so... <laughs> no sending love letters on bad luck week. Let's Don't see. do it. Confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yuri-chan. Uh, sorry, sorry. Don't mind me. Let's see. Now, where were we? Hmm. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. Did my Joy-Con die? Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guys react when Morimura walks in? Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice figure, and I can sort of understand. As for guys, I like, I don't understand. I think my Joy-Cons keep like inside. bugging out. That guy's shallower than a cookie pan. You've got a strange taste in men, Miwako. Let's I'm not sure what's going on. Goto Senpai's pretty cute too. He has a lot of secret admirers. Even oh now, oh partners. god, now that's bad. Um, I might, oh god, did I fuck yeah, up? Yeah, I'll pass. Man, all the guys at school suck. Alright, let's try this again. There's not even one you might like? Okay, hold on, this is fine. This is totally that fine. Is wonderful, Sami chan Even just watching from afar. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. Okay, let's try this. Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guys react when Mori No, Mora don't do in? this to me. <laughs> let's just say they're not I don't know what's going on. Eyes. She does have a nice figure. And I can sort of Don't worry, it's girl her. talk. Yeah. I want As this guys, to I like, work. I think Amiguchi comes handsome. I can't even I can't I just want to go to the home screen. Uh hold on, I have to do this go. button. Guta is cute? I don't know about that. Guta's alright. Yeah, Guta's kind of mid. It's all about Yakisoba Man, pan guy. Oh, it, it's working! There's not even one you might like. Okay. I got it, I got it. Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan Even just watching from afar. It's like your heart's wrapped in. You should get a four-leaf clover, Yori-chan. A four-leaf clover. It's a love charm. I saw it in a magazine. If you include it in a love letter to your crush, your wish will come true. Uh-huh. And what was it last week? Put a photo of your crush inside your pillow? Ew? Don't do that. Let's see. Now where Cat. are we? Oh. Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again! Kitty! I don't see it. The kitty went- have taken off already. The kitty went over so here. So many cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. After this, you wanted to go to the record store. Yes! You must really want that- Well, he looks- so Man, all the guys at school suck. <gasps> Kitty's back. There's not even one you might like. Oh, did you see that, Usami? -chan? Do I? Uh, I keep scaring it. I don't see it. Must have taken. I can't already. scare it. So what do I do? How do I approach the kitty? Also, ah, the cute guy. Yeah. Right. Whenever I think about it, my heart starts. It's like love. If I said that. But if I just hide here, like, hey, and the cat will just come back. I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. After this, you wanted to go. Yeah, you must. Well, he looks. Okay. So cat. Oh, cat. There's not even one you might like. Being in love is wonderful, Sunny-chan. Even just watching. Yeah. How do we? How do we do this? I don't want to scare it. We scared it away. Um, hey, 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 I need help with a cat. Fuck! The window is so small. Okay. I'm over here having serious cat problems, girls. Okay. Even just 
watching from afar. No, he... Oh. Did you see that, Usami? I scared him again. I don't see it. I scared Mr. him Jack away. After that, you wanted to... Yeah, you must read well. He looks Maybe if so I, um... Man, all the guys at school <sighs> suck. There's not even one you might like. Oh, oh, my Joy-Con drift. It pushed me to the right. Fucking hell. Bad time for Joy-Con drift. Must have... After the... You wanted to go... Yeah, you must read loud. He looks so... Man, all the guys at school okay. suck. We noticed the kitty. Oh. There's not even one you might like? Hmm. How do I? Being in love is wonderful, Sami-chan. Oh, man. So if I go too far... Oh, no. It was like... I know I it's the kitty! I'm having a crisis here! After this, you wanted to... Yeah, you must read loud. He looks... So what? Man, all the guys at school suck. <gasps> There's not even kitty. one you might like. Okay, we don't want to scare How the kitty. How do I? Seeing in love is wonderful, I don't want to scare the kitty. Even just watching from afar... Like hey, ladies. Can you help me Maybe. out with the Come kitty? On. Have you seen how the guys react when Mori Mora walks in? Let's just say she does. No! Oh, did you see that, Usami chan? It was that kitty again. I don't see it. I wanna die. Must have taken off already. I wanna Some die. Stray the cats cat. around here. Maybe someone is feeding. Yeah, how do I feed them? Kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yuri chan Yeah. Didn't it look the same? Oh, it's over there! <gasps> I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone. So do I have to them. get the conversation, and then she notices the kitty? The kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at but the only way to get the kitty to come back is to reset know. the conversation. So. Oh, do we just have to wait it out? Okay. And then they talk about boys, and then you go to the kitty. You trigger the cat conversation. Hey, talk about cat. Maybe, but come. Have you seen how? The Let's just say she does have. Can you talk about the cat? Oh, did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again. Can I hide in the trash I... can? <laughs> Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone is feeding them. That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like you that. Wanted to go yes, you must really well. He, he looks so what? Uh, man, all the guys at school. There's not Mila Chan. You should do it. Send your love letter. Huh? But it I see. Confessions take a lot of courage. You're uh don't mind me. This cat, I'm gonna fucking kill this cat. Even just it's like your heart. <sighs> Romance aside, I'm still hungry. Let's get more treats. Let's fucking go. Good idea. I can't figure out this cat. I'd love to go back to that one place. Let's get sweet. It's a hot. Why don't we get soft serve? Nah. Oh. <gasps> I'd rather have ice drinks. cream. Let's let Yuri chan decide. I want to deal with this cat. Wait, the cat's gone. Fuck. Do we want soft serve or do we want crepes? I want soft serve. Oh, I can smell the crepes now. Lately, so I agree with me with Chan. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go. We made it out of the loop, but we didn't get the cat. So now I'm sad. <gasps> oh! That looks 
looks good. We all got the new flavor. Rich vanilla, right? It was either this or what does poor vanilla taste right, like? I'm gonna try it. Holy shit! Ah, <laughs> uh, your ice cream disappeared. Miwa on my Let's talk list. About romance, even though she's shy with boys. At this point, we've hit up most restaurants in town. Is the kitty here? I love getting snacks after school. Um, do you think we'll put on weight? Mm, we did just eat a lot of sugar. Yori, are you on a diet? Is that crush getting to your head? Don't tell me. You two are <laughs> taking things to the next level. It's not like that. Man, all the guys at school suck. Oh no, not this, this, not this. You'd like? You a chat? You should do it. Huh? But... Oh. Let's see, hmm. now where How were we? we? Did you see? It was that kitty again. I don't see it. Must have taken off. After you want to eat, man, there's not even one. Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan. Even just I thought we were done with the kitty. We're not done with the kitty loop. We're not done. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. You, would, you should do, huh? But you, would, chan, you should. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Now, where oh. are we? Hmm. Maybe, mm -hmm. but come well, on. Why? Have you seen how the guys look? Just to say, they're not Every day, around. I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> he does have a nice figure, and I can sort of understand. As Kitty. For the guys I like, I think only people can Kitty. Say some. That guy shall. You've got a strange taste. That's. Oh man, did you see that? It was like. I don't see. It. Must have taken off. So many. Maybe someone's. That kitty. I think it's the. After this, you wanted to. Yes. You must re. Well, he looks a bit so. Man, all the guys. There's not even. In love is even just you a chan. You should do it, huh? But I keep clicking the wrong button. But then, oh, this right, don't forget you got your lucky item today. Yeah, just tell him. Oh, stop, it's so embarrassing. Watching from afar is good enough, but I do envy you, Iori chan. You talk to Amiguchi kun like it's no big deal. You two are chatting on lunch break, right? In the passageway, what about? Well. Uh, about dreams. Let's see. Now, where were Oh, no. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm Amiguchi kun and Kurabe kun's dreams. They sounded a lot like mine. I wanted to talk to them about it. Maybe we're all connected. Oh, recall. Get me out of here. We did her! Karabi kun! Oh, oh Fuyasaka san. What brings you here? You weren't at your desk, so I thought I'd check outside. Are you waiting for Amiguchi kun? Well, trying to. More dream talk? I'm sure that's what he'd want to do. 
But I just want to play games. I thought I'd ask to hang out at his place. Hmm. You know, I've been thinking. I know we just met here at school, but it doesn't feel like it's for the first time. <laughs> Have we met somewhere before? A long time ago? Um, I don't think so. Oh. Fuyusaka's here too. Amiguchi-kun. Did you have another dream? You guessed it. It was crazy, man. I was in this tank thing with legs. A tank thing. Walking around, beating up monsters. Were you watching some sci-fi B-movie before bed? So you've been having dreams like that all this time? Oh yeah, especially lately. You too, right, Karabi-kun? Mine was about a UFO. I went back in time using the UFO's transmitter. I have dreams like that all the time. But in my case, I think I'm too easily influenced by movies and stuff. Why did you come here anyway? Don't tell me you're interested in our dreams. About that, the truth is, I've been having weird dreams too. It seems like they might be related, so I thought I should talk to you guys about it. Oh yeah? What kind of dreams? That dream you just told us about, you know. The tank with legs? I saw something similar myself. For real? Oh, tell him not now. Does this well, okay, well let's go, let's go. I think that was you in my dream, Amiguchi kun. Oh no. Oh no, more confusion. I feel it already. The Sumire Bridge. So this is 2089. Okay. Riverbank looks so empty. There's no Century Tower. This must be before it was built. I went back 16 years. Looks like I'm the only one who made it. Were Jiro and Okinokun unable to escape? This must be around the time I what was What the born. fuck are those cars? And I'm all alone. What am I supposed to do? They go so fast. Oh! That's fine. Oh, look at those futuristic cars. Whoa. It's Sumire Bridge. Did I make it back? Uh. Hold on! Um. You're Chihiro Morimura. Am I right? What? Who are you? I'm Tetsuya Ida. Tetsuya Ida, what? I was sent here by the future you to the year 2089. The future me? She asked me to find you on Sumire Bridge 16 years prior and tell you about our battles. We'll defeat them this time for sure. It's getting noisy. We're in 2089 and we're still Let's talking about the future. What about that? How time? far in the future are y'all fucking here? talking about? Like Don't have much choice. Gonna need it I thought the end of the world happened at 2064 now, on my I whiteboard. You come with me. So you mean to tell me 2064 wasn't the end of the world? Oh my fucking god. This is this is fine. All right, time to go get crepes. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Maybe in like a different dimension. Wait, that makes sense. So in a different dimension, uh we the world that the world ended in that dimension in 2064 and in this dimension where all of our names are all different it's a different timeline so the world is fine on this side but he said he came from the future it, so past 2089 i think i'm dying a little bit Let's get sweet. It's a hot. Why don't we get 
Crepes time. I with Usami crepes sound good right now. Then that's that. Let's go. Look at those crepes. You didn't get your usual chocolate banana, right? Double strawberry was half off. I have to try it. Yum. <laughs> well, let's see. How is it? Mm. So many strawberries. Crispy edges. Lots of cream. You know, what if I got the tuna in mayo? I could have fed it to the cat. Hey, cats can't have crepe. I actually have cat treats with me. If you want to feed him, <gasps> give him those. So oh, yeah. I've been feeding them. Jeez, Miwako. Now I'll I can feed the fucking cat. Thanks, Miwachan. Oh, I'd love to go back to that one place. How do I? Now's the time. I'll use Miwachan's treats. This stuff was pretty good. At this point, we've hit up most hey. restaurants in town. Hey, Miwachan. I got it, guys. I did it. I got oh, past the fucking moment. kitty loop. I'll get the treat. He ate the whole thing. And they're very similar, but I think the one at school looks slightly different. So there's more than one. You got a good look at the one at school, huh? At the front gate with Karabe? Oh, you saw that? Oh! That guy's kind of weird, don't you think? What were you talking to him about? It was... Oh god, recall! Don't yawn. It's Ooh. only eight ten. That shit's contagious. You made me yawn. Yori Fuyusaka, genuine morning person. It's not so bad if I put my mind to it. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that, sweetie. Oh, kitty! Early cat gets the mouse, huh? Oh, he's sleeping. Good morning, Fuyusaka. -san. Oh, a cat. Looks just like a stray I've seen by my house. Maybe they're siblings. Kurabe-kun, do you still have those dreams? Yeah, sometimes. I have them too. You know that one you talked about earlier? With the UFO buried underground? UFO? Yori! Morning! Osami-chan! morning what were you guys up to over there oh um just looking at a cat uh, huh. <laughs> hey can we talk a little more uh, okay megumi oh every day they keep me up at Jura. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried with you all by yourself. If something were to happen to you, uh, I... Juro, stop. <sighs> I'm flattered you feel that way. But I can't think about this. Not now. I don't want to leave you hanging. No, I get it. I don't know what got into me. This is no time for a confession. It would only make things more complicated. But, listen. When this is all over... I'll talk to you again. Promise. There it is again. 
Were you able to find the source of these tremors? Okino-kun. Remember the kaiju that were immobilized? They're starting to collapse. The tunnel is blocked. We'll need to find another route to the surface. There's no use rushing. No one's left up there anyway. <sighs> you don't have to say it. Hmm. So you remember. I'm so sorry. About your mother. It's okay. Our work here is a good distraction. I'll check the terminal over there. This one block of data is still being analyzed. It's been three days and it's only at 1.2%. That's unusually dense. Oh my god. That still, download speed. Someone cranked that shit up. Sure. It's not so far off from our own. Was Okinokun right all along? This could be a relic of an ancient civilization. I wonder what this is for. Something incredible, surely. If you asked me for my best guess, I'd say it's a transmission <laughs> device. In other words, a teleporter. <sighs> Don't give me that look. Hear me out. I actually found some associated data. Come on, you've taken quantum mechanics. Transmission of matter isn't possible. That's what our science says. We can't assume that alien technology is bound by the same constraints. If my we've got an explanation oh, for the disappearance. I didn't skip that. Including those of your parents, Morimura-san. Guys, come take a look at this. Okay, I need to write that down. Hold, hold that thought, Juro. Just hold that thought. The analysis took some time, but I found this. What is that? The map. This relic is enormous. It's 30 kilometers in diameter, and the whole thing's underground, right beneath the city. It looks like a giant saucer. Fascinating. So this isn't just any alien facility. It's a buried UFO. What? Buried UFO. We're only 300 meters from the surface. Oh, this facility is huge. How could it have never been discovered? It's not likely. Rather, it may have been intentionally hidden. A government cover-up of alien life. Sounds like a movie from the 20th century. Okay. Those monsters on the surface. Are they trying to unearth this UFO? Just what are they after? something to do with this it's a data signal being emitted by this facility as we speak what does it look like to you this is a countdown it started when the kaiju came in contact with the mainframe since then the clock's been ticking we should investigate further this is totally fine by the way this may not be appropriate but i'm honestly <laughs> excited <laughs> yeah, maybe it's not all not appropriate. I can hardly believe it. We should investigate further. So when the countdown reaches zero, what happens? Hmm. It may be related to the gravity wave abnormality. Do you think it might launch? Let's just continue the analysis. There's no time for what ifs. We need to find out what's going on. No! Oh, this is ace. Oh, and now it's locked. 
piece of shit. Oh my god. All right. All right. Here, here, um, I, I'm doing a little something something right now. I'll show you in a second. Um, uh, Okay, <laughs> so I wrote down a little chart here for my brain to comprehend a, a something at least in this fucking game and I still don't think I get it. So I wrote down dimension one and then dimension two. In dimension one, we know him as Juro Karaba. In dimension two, it's Juro, Juro Izumi. In dimension one, it's Iori Fushaka. Uh, uh, and in dimension two, it's Morimura. Like, she's the nurse? I don't fucking know. Um, and then Dimension 1, uh, it, it's Shu Ami G G of Amaguchi. And in Dimension 2, it's Tetsuya Ida. They're, like, different people in different dimensions. I don't fucking know! And then for some reason, t t t t Tsukasa Okino is, like, the same in both? Like... That character pops up in both dimensions but the name is the same except for the fact that dressed up like girl for some reason but like that's just a disguise so this is my current understanding and i think this is completely wrong uh i just want to make sure that that's clear uh, i'm trying to comprehend this 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 chart of names and people being the same is what i got and I'm pretty sure it's all wrong. Uh, I'm just... I'm grasping at straws here. It, this is a fucking mess. My life is a mess. Like, that... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't... I'm trying so hard to comprehend this shit. But, that being said, I'm gonna end the stream here, and we'll continue on Friday with these characters and hopefully i'll have this and this unlocked whatever but yeah we'll continue uh on an on on friday <laughs> i think my brain is gonna fucking explode for real oh my god Woo! Okay, tomorrow we continue. So for the next couple weeks, we'll be playing Chrono Cross on Monday and Wednesday and then 13 Sentinels on Tuesday and Friday. That's the current schedule. I plan on doing the Final Fantasy 14 6.1 story patch on Thursday. So I'm going to do that on Thursday. If we're not doing our Divinity stream, I'll just do that. But even if we do our Divinity stream, it'll be an extra long one and I'll be doing Final Fantasy 14 after Divinity. So that's the current plan for the week thank you guys so much for supporting the stream today i really appreciate it it was a special stream sponsored by atlas themselves so shout outs to them thank you um and also i do have to say uh that the switch port currently is actually really running smoothly we haven't had any problems and the controls are really nice so I, this seems like so far it's a really solid switch port compared to danganronpa that we just played it it was a horrible port uh, so yeah thank god for that um <laughs> are you trying to get one last start i don't know if they deactivated it they might have um but yeah thank you guys so much for the stream today i really appreciate it and our special little alerts that we had here i'll, I'll even join in maybe maybe it, it'll pop up i don't know they might have deactivated it but um <clears throat> Yeah, really, really solid port, and I'm excited that it seems like I'll actually be able to play this whenever I travel next month. So, hey, that's pretty sick. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna head out. I'm really excited. This game is really dope so far. So, I'll see you guys. Oh, oh, it does still exist. Sheesh. <laughs> one last one before we end the stream. All right, friends. Thanks for hanging. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.